Hello. How's it going, everybody? Greetings and salutations, one and all, across the land. It is I, your boy, back again once again with another fantastic watch party for Pokemon Premier League. Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals is absolutely crazy. Quarterfinals blows my mind. What is this? That's not what I want. That's not what I want. There we go. Boop. There we go. Get a little get a little bit of that. Let me let me check out some stuff here. Let me let me check out some stuff. Uh move you over there too. And then um, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. What up, Zeki? How you doing, bud? I am very excited for tonight's matches. Uh, I have not had a chance yet to take a look. So I, I believe I know who ultimately gets in, only because I saw somebody ping me oh, for the... You may have heard these words before, but I'll teach you what they really mean. Go beyond! Plus! Well, I hope you guys heard that, and I just don't look ridiculous. Alec Dorson, Tier 3 MVP over here on Twitch, 65 months. Appreciate you, big dog. Hope you're doing well this evening. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me change over. I don't even know what's going on. And we're getting a raid. And we're getting a raid. Electric Spaceman, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. You guys came in just at the start of stream. Uh, we're just getting ready to kick things off. Talk about packs a little bit here in a bit. You know? Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your community with me. What's going on, Apollo? How you doing? And a brand new sub. I like your space, man. You're too kind. Thank you so much. Raid and the sub? After my own heart. Thank you so much. Apollo, how's it going, bud? Hope you're doing well. We are just chilling here. I'm just getting all my ducks in a row. Getting ready to... Uh, as we're getting ready to... Uh, you know. Get everything ready. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. You know, when you go straight from like job to job to job, like the, the lines just blend together right it just kind of blurs a little bit but that's okay that's all good we still like to have fun here came in your beginning as i end mine there you go look at that it all worked out it all worked out thriller what's going on bud how you doing let me grab and look at that chad you guys can see each other so i updated it so that way even on the nuzlocke you guys can see uh you guys can see all your stuff there too so i think we're we're, we're almost we're almost figuring out this whole multi-streaming thing. It's absolutely crazy. School going for a vet tech degree. Oh, hell yeah, man. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's so exciting. I've been doing well. I just got back from PAX. Got back from PAX uh, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. So that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, I have not been to a PAX in five years, and I really feel like that's kind of where I, like, like, I thrive in there. Like, I ran on four hours of sleep all day Saturday, had like some caffeine in the form of an espresso martini and a Mountain Dew. Um, really just like ran on vibes all weekend. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. It was I, I met so many fun people. They were so nice. Um, ju just an absolute great time. Absolute great time. Hi, Casey. How you doing? Brother Dave. Good getting ready. All right for finals game. Finals game in a Wi-Fi league. Oh, I could never. I haven't done a finals game in a Wi-Fi league since Oris. And Papa Z smacked me, so it, it was what it was. PAX was so cool. So I had the smallest room ever with Iron Boffin. We shared, we shared the world's smallest room. Um, it was not, it was fun. It was fun. It was not roomy by any means, any stretch of the imagination. Um, you walk in. Let me see if I can find pictures. I'm gonna see if I can find pictures. I'm gonna send all these pictures to my wife on Discord and then pull them up. 
where I wish I this is why you need just like a private server with yourself so you can share photos between like mobile and desktop. Where's my wife? There we go. All right, hold on. Ba, 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 ba. Let me get these photos here and I'll show you. I mean, truly the smallest hotel room I did, like imaginable. Okay, I'm gonna send these. My wife's gonna be like, uh, sending these to show stream. My wife's gonna get out of the shower and be like, why are you sending me photos of your, of your hotel? Like, honey. I need to, oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. I already got my, I already got my stuff pulled up here. Okay, so this, open a browser. So this was the view right when, right when you walk in. Right when you walk in, here is the view. Like, no, usually, like, not to sound super bougie. Normally, I'm used to, like, some sort of, like, a small entry hallway with a bathroom and a closet. I am standing in the doorway taking this photo right standing in the doorway taking this photo uh here was the opposite side of that where you have just the bed here's let me let me let me turn this on so you guys can see the uh capture my cursor there you go okay here's the bathroom and shower right no it looks super nice um we had a great view of boston right it was boston boston you that's how you can tell i was i was i was out there for too long um, walk right in. There it is. There's the bed. There's the shower. There's the bathroom, right? Like the shower in the bathroom. This was, this was the shower in the bathroom, which is, is, is totally fine. Except there is no fan up here. Uh, should the other person be, uh, using the restroom? You can very clearly hear everything. And then this wall right here is like a very dark stained glass. Oh, my ad block is expired. Um, a very dark stained glass, right? Cool. Um, except I went to go use the bathroom while Boff was taking a shower. And when I sat down, uh, all I could see was like a dark silhouette of Boff's ass. So I was like, let's not, uh, let's not do that. Let's wait until you're out of the shower before I, before I go to go do that. So, um, learned our lesson, but it was good. We didn't spend much time in the hotel at all. Um, I was, uh, I was up bright and early. Friday morning to, to fly out there. Uh, got to the hotel, hung out a little bit, waited for Boff. Uh, went over to the went over to the event center, started meeting everybody, got some lunch. Um, Chad, I met so many cool people. It was so good. I got to see a lot of new, uh, a lot of old friends, meet a lot of new friends. Um, hung around the convention center for a bit. We got our our cheesecake factory, of course, which was uh, which was fantastic. Um, got to have cheesecake factory where you get packs, otherwise it's not a real packs, quite honestly. Um, Later that night, we went out to go hang out with Wildcat. He invited us out to, is that really a bad view? LOL. It really is not. It ain't. It is not. It is not. We went out to a party with Wildcat and his friends. They had a little bar down in Italy that he, in Italy, in Little Italy that he had invited us to. Really cool place. You could get, you got like this little, here's my old business cards, by the way. I'm going to use this. You can get like a card here and it had numbers one through 20 and you rolled a D20 to see which um to see which drink you would get and the goal was to get all all 20 drinks um in there which was which i thought was really cool hung on there for a little bit a lot of the pokemon creators nintendo creators that are in the space went to go uh to a barcade that night so we stopped by there for a little bit um i had already been eating and drinking all day i was super tired so i just i just had a a, a seltzer a white claw and just called it a night there um, next day, I mean, up bright and early, went and got our Duncan, um, hung around the whole convention center, walked around. I got to meet, I got to meet Jonathan Young. So my packs, my packs was goaded. My packs is absolutely cracked. Everything else was, was, was a cherry on top. I loved it. Um, um, I met, uh, so many, like I said, just so many, so many new people that I got to meet, which was really, really cool. Um, later that night, we went out to this, this Southern bar. Uh, which was really nice. They had some really good Nashville hot chicken. Really tore me up for the next few days afterwards. Um, and then the uh, we went to uh, Lucky Strike after. Oh, in between all that, in between all that, we went out to, um, if you guys watch VGC content, uh, Moxie Boosted was there. Uh, he was in Boston just visiting his girlfriend and ended up like just wanted to hang out with us. So so Boff and MV and I went out to go have lunch with, with Moxie, which was really, really nice. Um, Really, really cool dude. Had some great tacos. Oh my God, great tacos, great margaritas. 
Um, so later, later that night, we ended up at Lucky Strike, which is like a bowling alley arcade type thing. Um, I probably put down a bottle of Don Julio, which was which was fun. Um, really just got to, to, to cut loose and enjoy some good times and, you know, hang out with some really, really good people. Uh, it was it was it was like the premier weekend. It was a great 48 hours. I think if I would have went any longer, a day would have like like I had two very full solid days as much as I wanted to like be around that space longer. Um, it ended up, you know, it ended up working out that, uh, you know, those two days just just worked out really, really perfectly. Didn't make too many appointments during that time. Just just hung out and, and talked and, and made good friends. And it was great. Chaos, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. You guys are just getting in. We're just uh, we're just catching up after the, the PAX weekend here. Um, talking about uh, talking about PAX East uh, before we get into our quarterfinals. I did redo the, let me show you guys really quickly. I did recently redo the Nuzlocke screen. So I know that um, we had talked previously about like having chat on screen a little bit more clearly. So once everything's lit up, you'll be able to see it. I think, where's my, oh Lord, where's my, did I not add the chat yet? Where are you guys? Where are you guys? There we go. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. I was like, where are you? There we go. Now everybody can see you. Kind of. Get to the bottom of it. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now you guys can see chat while we nuzlocke, which is great, which is what I wanted to do. But yeah, we got all that done too. So we'll do a little bit of that tonight. Hey, thank you so much, Cass. Yes, it was very, very fun. Very, very fun. Had a ton of fun. Um, got to meet a lot of cool people, got to hang out with a lot of cool people. It was a, it was a really, really good time. So, um, very excited to be back. Uh, always excited to be back and see my family and, uh, hang out with my wife and my son. So, uh, that was, that was very, very good to come home to. Um, all that being said, uh, I believe we're going to switch gears and head right on into, um, some draft league. So we have quarterfinals here. Let me pull up the... Announcements. Okay. So we have uh, Mounte versus uh, Under the Radar, Addy versus Onesie, Dave versus J Ricky, and Vepsis versus Kilo Boom. So it is going to be, it is going to be some absolute heat heat for quarterfinals we got four matches to watch tonight we'll dabble in a little bit of singing sapphire because i really do i don't want to jinx anything i really do feel like this is the run i really do feel like this is the run that being said got my water oh i need to light a candle chat we are so close by the way i don't know if i should show you this i don't know if i should show you this let me see here uh, da, 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 da. let me. I want to just cross out like people's money and stuff like that that isn't mine. I don't care if you guys know about my money. But I'm trying to get it so I'm not showing no one else's because that ain't that ain't my business. That ain't y'all's business. But, but we are currently in the top ten. Cosmic Candles partners right now. We are in the top 10 year-to-date Cosmic Candles partners. We've gotten five orders placed so far. Top five is 11. I'm a competitive son of a bitch, chat. I'm a competitive son of a bitch. If you have not tried Cosmic Candles yet, use code CBAD, exclamation point candle. I am so stoked about this. I would love to get in the top five. I would love to finish out like number one for the year, like my first year with Cosmic Candles, but that's that's I, that's not a fool's dream. 
but it is ambitious, I will say. But we are doing really, really good right now. So I appreciate everybody who's putting in order. Very, very exciting times over there. We have first up tonight, we have Mounte versus Kelly, which is going to be a dope match. Let me get everything all set up over here. Let me leave a like. Leave a like. Leave a like. Leave a like. There we go. All right. If it's too loud, if it's too loud, let me know. Guys, welcome to big big old game playoffs. Let me get, let me get, let me get, let me get. Uh, quarterfinals, even. Playback speed. <laughs> quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. That's basically finals, you know, in a way. It's like a quarter of finals. Uh, it's a quarter so of finals, it's true. I go up against Kelly, aka Under the Radar, and the Maryland Pro Terrapins. I faced Kelly one time, but it was basically a meme match, because like I was locked for playoffs. He was that out, crazy. so we just had fun with it. Volume's good, thank um, you, Jacob. And I so, yeah, I haven't really faced him, I would say. And I'm excited to. You know, I'm a fan. He's, you, you've probably heard of him. He's, like, pretty renowned in the community. He's been around for a long time, way longer than me. Um, and uh, Kelly's old. Yeah, here, here we go. So he took over for, for JV after week four. A um, little background for you guys. Uh, JV was 2-2 two two at the time. Had to drop for personal reasons. And then uh, Kelly took over and went 4-0. He made a few changes to the team. And then went 4-0. Yeah. Um, so he, he has not lost. 2-2 two and two into 4-0 and and is crazy. Six and two. He has not lost with this roster. Uh, so he's actually the, the number two seed, I should mention. <clears throat> uh, I was number one. So I got to pick my opponent. You can tell I didn't script this, right? You can tell? Uh, hey. So let's back. Mounte is the number one seed in the league, said, you know what? I don't want to face the number one two league in the finals. I want to take you on now. Like, that's right. such a power yeah, move, dude. Once he been at, and Killua Boom uh, made it into the, the last two seeds. But uh, so I had like a bye week last week. And then. I got to choose. That's such a power move, two chat. Oh my god! And, uh, I just thought this was the best matchup for me. Not that it's like an unlosable matchup by any means. I can't even. I can't even. Really matchup. He has no normal type, and like Galvantula looks pretty good as well. Like I have, so he has a very offensive team, uh, and like so do I to a degree. Uh, pretty offensive, right? So I'm basically yeah. No, offense, being able to no ghost his type before his overwhelm. chair looks great. Me. That's that's what I'm banking on, and I think I can pull it off. Ultimate so, flex yeah, It's true. Despite him being number two seed, I chose him, and here we are. We're gonna engage in the battle for the, the for the quarterfinals, guys. That's so crazy. Uh, He's so just welcome. like I'm welcome gonna to just the lay it on the table. <laughs> so let's look at the matchup, I guess. Like I was saying, spec looks insane. He has Grim Snarl, um, which is like his dark resist or uh, ghost resist. So, you know, spit up on that guy's not amazing, but you can always throw AV on anything. And so, you know, Very true. he can take a hit. That's for sure. He could also just be like light screen with prankster, like parting shots as well, sucker punch mm -hmm. even. Uh, he also might use this one to deal with Chi Yu. Chi Yu looks pretty good here. Um, he might try like AV in front of or something, potentially. Sneasler has a couple checks. Oh, AV Ape just to counter Chi Yu is work. crazy. I like uh, that. Even like full defense Latias could work. Um, Driflim is the best check, though. I would not be surprised to Driflim. It's also really good against Myers Luna. Driflim is always good. So he could bring some kind of like even hybrid, like offensive defensive kind of scenario because he doesn't need too much investment to wall. Not wall, but. Lost to I mean, the low really, kicks? Uh, That's crazy, Thriller. Oh my god. On those mods, but. He could, in theory, like be oh, offensive man. with a like unburdened set, and still he still checks those mods pretty well. So I have to get my right calc out. open because you know I'm gonna be I sitting could, here so trying to run some shit and be like, what? As an overhead view, I could see. I'm gonna have my coming. commentary. Um, the only mod I'm not expecting is Wacky. Wacky could come, but I don't think it would come. Um, his, his biggest threat to me is for alligator, and that thing with the dragon. Yeah, Terra for alligators. Has coverage nuts. Teams, can be Terra grass. So he has a method of hitting Blastoise basically, and the grass is pretty good against a few of my guys, especially if I like terrain up for him, you know. Yeah, um, grassy terrain. So, yeah, you know, Terra Blast from and Latias grass is, like double dance, is a huge threat. I have to be careful of that. So, again, by no means, like, unlosable matchup. This is a tough matchup. But um, this is more just the fact that I think my offense can outdo his. And so I brought a pretty offensive team. Very it's excited. Good, you know, I've rambled for too long, guys. I'm sorry. I've been going on. Okay, so we got first mine is Juan. Oh, let me remove the health bar there. My mistake. And this is why I forget to put it on during the game, because I remove it for the team builder, and then I'm like, oh shit. Help bar? Uh, okay, so we have Joy Scarf. Again, I was saying this mon looks really good in the matchup. It does. Uh, but it's also a very good revenge killer. It's basically a matter of, like, combining revenge killing and sweeping into one mon. Uh, okay. He has a lot of mons weak to Psychic. Yeah, especially with Grimnay. You know, Fernade, Tusk, Glamora. Uh, Shadow Ball looks amazing if I can KO Grim. Modest bring, like, Grimnay, Spadef too? Empoleon, which could be an issue. Uh, but even then, like, I'll take a knockoff. Terror so, Rhyperion League? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. that wasn't a huge issue. That really, I just have to, like, get rid of Grin. I feel you. I feel you. As far as, like, sweeping uh, goes. But really, it's more of a, a revenge killer in this game. Particularly for 
Uh, I don't know if he'd run plus, Webs he Chaos because Empoleon okay. has competitive these uh, days. Alligator. As long as his EVs creep. Um, what was it? I think so. It would just get a free creep, plus two uh, boost on Switch, and if it's not boost, Spectre A without a boost, which I think is about as fast. He, he would have to be jolly and very fast to even do that. So I don't think he'd be faster than that. Um, so yeah, Scarf Spec actually should have to be plus two if that's what he's doing, uh, which was just like a benefit. That I, I didn't plan for that. I just looked, and it turned out to be the truth. And I said, "Good." <laughs> it turned nice. out to be the truth. those things come together. Good. You're like prepping, and then you realize that the prep you've already done accounts for like a different thing that you you hadn't considered yet. That's uh, nice. It's a nice feeling. So anyway, that's what's going on there. Next is uh, Diancy, offensive Diancy with Trick Room. Um, Ooh, Trick Room's pretty good as okay. long as I have Ursa Luna in the back. Um, so even if okay. I die, I have Ursa Luna to clean shit up potentially. Not clean up the game, but just to you know take advantage of Trick Room. But Diancy by itself is very powerful here. Um, I don't think he has a Mon who doesn't get hit super effectively. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Checking. He has for Alligator. For Alligator and Thwacky if it doesn't Terra. So oh, this is actually a great way to get damage on for Alligator. The damage that I need to potentially finish it off. Um, oh, I actually failed to mention that I had Hyper Beam on Spectre. That is a stronger move for me than Shadow Ball. So, in an extreme pinch, if uh, Frowligator is set up and I can't KO with Shadow Ball, I can go for Hyper Beam, you know? Um, so, anyway. Very nice, there, very nice. That, uh, yeah, Dynasty. Trick Room definitely helps out Dynasty against one, a lot of so those mods that are, um, you know, based on 10 and all. It's really going to depend yeah. on his team composition. Uh, but this is a potential lead. Even just Next base 100 is and up. Sneasler. This is a, uh, you know... It's a pivoting, like, cleaning, priority guy, status spreader. You know, he does a few things. Break Figure screens. out Poison Touch, um, Brick Break for screens. I did feel like I needed this Dire Claws, great. To threaten, I like it. Uh, Empoleon and Grimmsnarl. Uh, it does pretty well. Yeah, Sneezer like, doesn't always well, need to be, like, really hyper like hyper sweep. Uh, deck, it does know? get super walled by um, Tusk and Tricklin, though. So I have to be aware of that. But I also have Poison Touch U-turn. So I'm never, like, not potentially getting something out of the turn, which is nice. Something I do have to keep in mind is if he's running Covert Cloak on his check, Fake Out will not flinch. Uh, oh. Just due to the nature of Covert Cloak, it ignores flinching. So I have to be careful if I, you know, if I don't know an item on the Sneasler check, I probably won't go for Fake Out, um, you know, because I could die. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's that. We got the Ringer. Uh, Swords Dance because the ringer. plus one actually Oko's um, max defense drip limb. So say a Swords Dance as he comes in, he goes for Strength Sap, I can still KO. Uh, and then the other two moves just destroy everything. Damn. Also, yeah, beneficiary of Trick Room, like I was saying. Uh, it looks pretty good here. Um, he actually Damn. might not Tusk. Like, I have I have Terra Poison Mesprit. I have Rillaboom. Defensive Blastoise is something I bring all the time. So Ooh, Terra Poison Mesprit, too? In this game. I have we Billy, haven't seen that yet. Obviously, he's going to talk about <laughs> it. So, you never know. Uh, actually, I actually have a lot of mods that threaten Tusk. And it's funny that I say that because that is probably the most threatening mod to my team just because I built in such a way that I <laughs> didn't ignore Great Tusk. It's more that I'm, like, hoping it doesn't come. Because Earthquake or Headlong Rush fucks me up. Uh, anyway, yeah. So hopefully that mod doesn't come. I do take a close combat though with the defense that I have. Uh, like an adamant. I got a lot of good sure investment there. Almost max that HP. I think on defense. And then, uh, yeah, I don't KO back with facade unfortunately, but you know, put him in range of everything pretty much. Next we have Shell Smash, Cash Money, another potential lead. Let's um, go. Sneezer was also a potential lead. So this is my third potential lead out of like four. Uh, Expert Belts, Mix Attacker. Looks good. I wanted Ice Beam. To get around Drip Limb, you know, it isn't affected by Aperlin. I and love like this. Def, which I do oh my god, I have wanted Blastoise to do something yeah, for like so a really long. Good shot to KO Max Biz Def. Um, Please. I actually probably should have just EV to do that and take a bit out of attack, but too late now. <laughs> Hindsight is 50 50. It could go either way, you know? That's what they say, right? Um, <laughs> and yeah, Wave Crash fucks up everything. I need much. Shell Smash Blastoise uh, to just and go Brick Break is nice. In front of, Please. And it's, of course, it hits uh, Empoleon, which otherwise uh, tanks my hits. Lastly, Skull Tula. Um, another potential lead, depending on his team comp. Uh, I think he will expect this to be a lead, since it often is with sticky webs, even though that's not my plan. So I think he will try and like kind of counter lead this, so I probably won't lead with this mod. Okay. I don't know. It really depends on, on who he's got. But yeah, I have some defense. The defense is to take, uh, if Great Tusk is booster speed, I take a close combat. I'm Terra Grass already, um, <laughs> which is very niche, like, I know. But that mod is actually kind of hard for me to revenge uh, if, like, spec is dead. So this mod would help with that. And then, um... Booster well, speed tusk, really? Uh, oh, it's also okay. really good for scarf for alligator. I need to take a liquidation from adamant scarf for alligator, so I never have to feel pressure to Terra in front of that mon. Uh, if we're both at like full, that's also why I'm boots because I really want to keep this mon full at all times if I can. Not super important, but it's helpful for situations like I just described. And then yeah, okay. Terra grass energy ball is really nice for great tusk and uh, mostly just great tusk, honestly. But the typing of grass is actually very helpful for me in this game. 
do resist ground. The Terra Grass ground. Energy Ball into Great South looks really nice. There it is. There's the team. All right. Probably a bit of a longer team builder, but you know what? It's playoffs. I want to give you guys playoffs. the whole... The whole playoffs, process, baby. You know? um, a little quarterfinal action. Speaking. I love it. I love Introducing it. Introducing Milo's Rewards, the new way to unlock savings. I absolutely love it. Hand. With every purchase, all loyalty... It's okay, like how I searching. imagine people who love sports feel. For under the radar. Oh, we got him. We got him so quick. He's so ready. Okay. Gator comes. Tusk, unfortunately, comes. Glim, Vladdy. These are all the mods I expected the most. Is that good for me? Not exactly. <laughs> it's good for spec that there's no Polyon. Um, good for something. So lead-wise, I'm actually not... Good for sure. something. So, We're okay right now. Glamora. I actually don't want to leave Blastoise if Glamora's there. Because if he's Sash, it's just like not great for me. He doesn't have Driftblim or Thundee, so actually... Uh, Diancy is a pretty good lead, right? Yeah, I think Diancy is my lead here. This is one of the. This is like the only matchup this season where I did not have like a set one or two options for a lead. I just had to really like wait and see who we brought and evaluate from there. Um, There's just so many different, so many factors. But yeah, good luck, have fun to Kelly from Rose. Okay, is Kelly's was, trainer card like as expected? I think I'm gonna go or for did he just put that logo out there just because? That way I can kill. Even if he's a uh, Sash, I will do a KO, of course. I have Earth Power. And then I should get a hit on something else coming in, which gives me a bit of momentum. I mean, hopefully he just goes for a Hazard. Is that what I want? Maybe. Hey, what up, Bash? How you doing? If he goes for Energy Ball or Earth Power, he might do a KO. Oh, okay. Well, this is Snag's Poison. Good. That's nice. That's nice. Chat, by the way, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, if you can do me a favor, leave a like on the stream. It helps me out an absolute ton. And if you're watching on Twitch and you're not already followed, consider following. Thanks. Right? Because now I guarantee you live his next hit. And I have two a KO. I mean, I Oko if he's not Sash. Right? He actually doesn't have an Earth. Wait, does he even have a ground switching? Oh, he has Laddie. But that's a pretty dangerous switching. Whoa, it's AV or something. I mean, that's yeah. crazy. That. Okay, he's definitely Earth AV. Back. So he's not getting up hazards. Well, he's going to die here anyway. But So... So I'm dying this turn. He might want to preserve this for was that 25. I can't believe he took that so well. Draft finals, let's go, Bash. That's awesome. Too. Good luck. <laughs> Literally insane. Uh, uh, so Power Gem should kill, though. Should it? 25. It actually might not. Uh, thing is, I think he might go for... I think he might go into Laddie? Either way, I die here, though, so I can go into I'll go for power down. Either way, I get Ursaluna in. Okay. Oh, did kill. Very nice. Worth down for Diancy. I don't mind that. He didn't get any hazards. So there's no uh, hazards and Trick Room is up, so... He has to expect the ringer, though, here. Yeah. No way he doesn't expect the ringer, right? So who comes out... To check the Ursa Luna. Like, this is the last turn of Trick Room, I believe. Shit, I should have been counting. Well, Trick Room. One, two. No, I think there's two more turns. So I think I'll actually still go the Ringer. Ah, I should have looked. He's going to see this coming for sure. Though. No, he said Trick Room. Oh, this is actually fine. Earth Power. Yeah, he's got two two turns left. Yeah, two more turns. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could SD. He could Parting Shot. I don't think SD's bad. SD will... Give me a yeah, free like, hit on something what is coming he, in. Yeah, yeah. What's gonna if he says like room policy? This, like like yeah. room service? Great tusk? Like yeah, I was about to say he's gonna go right. for reflect or something on the SD. Yeah. Ursa Luna. Essentially, there's no reflect. So yeah, Facade will kill. Unless he's like, I mean, he could go for parting shot and then maybe live parting shot into tusk. He could live, I guess. It's still gonna hurt so bad though. I have to. I Toss have to behind screens mind. though could be could be a that little crazy. Reflect is up. I'm really bad about remembering screens. One of my weaknesses. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm actively working on it. So please bring screens against me so I can practice against it. You know. I welcome it. Go what a guy. This. Okay, that was nothing. Just sucker punch for damage. Facade. The thing is, I'm so fucking strong. Wow. Okay, Spectre goes in now. This mod yeah, is so strong that you cannot set up with anybody. 
Spe yeah, Spectre just just goes escape. in now. There's no, no resist. Over. Like, there's no way. You, you go attack. for... Things I don't have to switch in. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you attack. That's the thing. Um, so I just want to play what, next water turn, grass? I probably lose this Mon here. This Mon is good for Latias. It's like double dance. I do have to remind myself. Reflect is up. So revenging this will come down to Galvantula and Spec. Is there a way I can switch into someone here? No. If I get chip on him, it might be a, uh, a Blastoise endgame. Kelly upload his side? I have no idea. Okay, well, Probably. I think I'm going to lose this one here. That's okay. I hope so. That it is what it is. You know, I prevented the setup. I just I don't. I'm switching. Yeah. My switching was Rillaboom, and he can tear a grass, and it's just not even that good. So. There's emotion, and then there's skin crawling. So here's the thing. If he is Scarf, um, I take the hit. I've EV'd to take Scarf Adamant. That's true. That's true. Hey, thank you so much, Christine. I appreciate it. I could Ooh, also cap just tournament battle Saturday. Hey, good luck. Because if he goes Terra Grass and I Volt, well, the Reflect is actually making this hard. So, you know, Bug Buzz, worst case, he goes into Tusk, then I can attack, or he goes into Infernape, and then I just, I, I guess I go Blastoise there. Do I? It's a battle. Tough battle, guys. I don't know. Go for Bug Buzz. Yeah, I should live this, unless he... Terragrass. Yeah, even if he's Life Orb, I will have speed, so I should kill. All right, he is Terragrass, so the Bug Buzz was the uh, right like, play. If he's Life Orb, I'm faster. Hey, what up, Tom? Where I do a million damage. And if he's slower... Okay. Fantastic. Oh. This game that was so such much a good play by Mounte. Reflect is still up. Gotta remind myself. This is not over. Latias and Tusk and Infernape are all super dangerous. But honestly, I can let this one go. Actually, it's pretty good against Tusk. Yeah. I like that. I really just need Chip, and then Shadow Ball can potentially sweep, right? How much is Shadow Ball doing to you? Hyper Beam does a lot. Shadow Ball does uh, 70 minimum. Which, if you flare blitz me, that might be that might be seventy. So I'm willing to go for this here. Okay. Oh. Shit. Please go into. Actually, it doesn't matter. I, if he goes into Tusk, I'll just go for energy ball. Yeah, if he just goes out into Tusk, you just tear an check. energy ball. Okay. I mean, he knows more for energy ball here, though, right? Let's be real. He has two good energy ball switch ins. He could also be Scarf. I don't mind. I want. I need Chip. That's what I'm doing. I'm here for Chip. Do chip. Okay, I think he's uh, good damage. AVD. He's not AV. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? He took that like a goddamn champion. He's he's max max. He's max max. He's max max boys. This is fine. I think my plan now is just to thunder until I die or volt. I guess it's, it's good. Because if he stays in, good. I have shadow ball, and I can use. Yeah, oh yeah, he can use it as so, uh, yeah. he can use it as a good setup for. Respect yeah. you. So if he just Three, sacks right seven. here. So here's the thing. So yeah. here's the thought so, process behind this play right here of going for Volt Switch in front of this. So he no longer needs the Galvantula. If he Volt Switches on this thing being faster and then the Great Tusk kills Galvantula, Spectre Air comes in, outspeeds the entirety of Kelly's team. Shadow Ball either kills this and gives him the Grim Nay boost, putting it to plus one. Or on the switch, it likely to hit KOs and Fernape and Latias and just starts to proceed to sweep. So oh, I'm, I'm with that. Bolt? I'm with that. Or is Thunder better? I think Bolt is better. Bolt switch gives him okay. momentum if he does Kill switch me. out. Yep. It's totally cool. Now Shadow Ball can potentially win the game. Plus one Shadow Ball should kill the other two guys. Yep. Love this. Almost went for Hyper Beam, lol. Come on, baby. I'm amazed Energy Ball did that little. I'm a little worried about this not killing, but it says I do 37.5 minimum. If he's max, max. So surely I kill, right? He used Stealth. Surely. So he's not AV. Yeah. I know he's not AV. Yeah, I think I think I win here. Endure Custat Berry? Because I'll nope. speed Scarf anything from the other two. And unless Infernape is Scarf knockoff. Yeah, I mean, that could, that could definitely be... Sorry, not Scarf. If he's a Salt Vest knockoff... Oh, okay. Then I might lose. I don't know. Well, here's... Okay. 
I mean, even if this guy's passive, no, he, there's no way. Maybe he's Scar. No berry. Fuck yeah, I think it's over. Yes, right? No way Infernape lives plus two, even if you're AV. Yeah, no, Ape is, Ape is, there's a chance. Ape is done for. <laughs> he could, he actually could. And the reason I'm saying AV is because it's a very viable bring into Chi Yu. Um, so it's not unheard of, but I think he would have went to it prior to this. Yeah. Okay, Spectre is broken, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely right. crazy matchup by the god. Abs uh, can I type? Absolute. I can type. Absolute crazy game. Spectre is completely fair and balanced. Absolutely nutty game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, next up we have... We only have one side to watch of everybody's, by the way. So we don't even have to pick who goes into what. We watch Monte versus Kelly. Addison uploaded her side versus Onesie. Uh, looks like Dave uploaded his side versus J. Ricky. And then Steps has uploaded his side against Killaboom. So we have a that's a that's a short-lived match right there. I'm worried about that match, but either way. Either way. Let's get into it there. Hey, what up, Galaxy? How you doing? All right. Finals, the quarterfinals. It's week quarterfinals. That's the week that it is um, of the PPL, which means that playoffs are here. If we win, we keep going. If we lose, we are out. And it's pretty scary. So we're going to try our best to win the championship, like I said. And I definitely think we have the team to do it. We're going to have to beat some tough opponents along the way. But I'm ready. So waiting on the play. Blastoise sweep. Still Ultimately, to this day, they say um, I'm still waiting. Third seed, um, right behind Monte and Kelly. And Kelly uh, essentially was second seed uh, right above me because he won and I lost uh, last week, or I guess two weeks ago to Monte. And um, Monte, as the number one seed, got to pick his opponent and he actually chose kelly who's the number two seed because you're allowed to pick anyone who's who's lower than you in the seating um so functionally i'm second seed because um i was the second to pick so i had all the other coaches to choose from besides Monte and kelly and i chose alex and the reason i chose alex will be evident in the team builder um but i think alex is a great player i think he's a great battler from what i've seen he knows his shit and it's not gonna be an easy fight just because i chose him um he also is a bit of a i think oddball builder so it's possible that uh, we might run into some unexpected shit along the way and it'll be a um, surprising and exciting battle um, that hopefully we're able to maneuver our way through and come out on top of. So let's get into the team builder and let's crush playoffs, y'all. Let's freaking do it. So I'm let's not do it. The, bush. the reason I chose this matchup against Alex is because he does not have a dark type and I have a Deoxys speed. So we're going to be cooking with Specs Deoxys speed this game. And honestly, he just doesn't have a good switch into it. His Ooh. best switch in on his team that you can see beneath me is some sort of Spideff or AVR Caladon, which is incredibly difficult for me to deal with due to sort of its unpredictable nature. It moves, does get a wide range of do like moves, that. And the fact that every time I attack it, I will be giving it a stamina boost, boosting its body uh, attack, which will definitely come for things. I do like that Dungeons quite a bit. So, um, our Caledon still is scary. Nonetheless, the fact that I can click um, Psycho Boost so freely every I time, do like that quite um, a bit. Nice. And ultimately, even if it's AV, Sophie! Um, Stacks the Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, so, everybody. Um, hello. Oh, my God. Hello, hello, Liam's in chat, Matt's in chat. Hi, guys. Welcome out. Hello. Greetings and salutations. Raiders over on Twitch. Let me get, uh, what is it? Shout out. How do I? How do I? There we go. How do I? Yeah, nah, 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 nah. There we go. Guys, go follow Sophie. She's wonderful. Opening cards. Oh, my God. You're living my dream. I want to open cards. I want to open cards so bad. The walking. Ooh. Fire. Absolutely fire. Absolutely fire. Welcome on in, everybody. If you guys don't know me, uh, I'm Chase. We are doing a watch party for some Pokemon Draft League. Very competitive Pokemon singles. Um, we have three more matches to watch. And then we're going to go move into a hardcore Nuzlocke of one of my favorite ROM hacks. So very excited for that. Appreciate you guys. If you guys are in my stream right now, Go follow Sophie. She is wonderful. Uh, her 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 fiance is you know he's 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 pretty hot, but but she too is wonderful. Um, yes, please no go run go run by all means by all means. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are excited. Let me get back on over to the games here. Is it it is singing Sapphire Man? It is. Is it singing Sapphire Man? Chance. Lol. Um, which is why Lol. Danny, thanks for following. Obviously, I can also always press focus blast my need. Or I can click Psychic um, if I don't want to like lower my stats or risk the miss with Psycho Boost. And then the last move here, Extreme Speed, is here for just quick little like pickoffs if I like am facing some kind of like Trailblaze Ogre Pun or um, some kind of Agility Zapdos or um, oh, I, like it. I need to like break the Gale Wings and something. I don't know. Um, ultimately, um, we have Extreme Speed there just in case because I didn't really need any other moves. So we're really clicking Psycho Boost probably like 90 to 95% of the time. Psychic maybe like. 5% of the time, Focus Blast maybe 5% of the time, and then Extreme Speed like 0.01% of the time. So that is the Deoxys, that's what we're centering this team around, so we're trying to build a team that enables this Deoxys, allows it to come in as much as possible, um, and also pressures back that our Caladon, that 
is very scary. Lots of um, turn so momentum there, I imagine. how are we going to do that? So let's first talk about how we're going to pressure the Arcaladon. So every single time Arcaladon comes in on Deoxys Speed or anything else, we want to be able to bring in Swampert. Now Swampert is incredibly useful here because with Citrus Berry, if able to tank a couple Draco Meteors, I can click Stealth Rock, I can click Flip Turn. His removal Ooh. isn't great. His removal is essentially, I think, just Defog Whimsicott and Oracorio. Um, if even that, I think it also might be Defog Talon Flame. Either way, I don't really see him bringing removal this game is what I'm trying to say. So once Rocks go up, it's Drive League is good, very uh, fun to say. No, I love this. Rock ship, even though it's resisted, is crucial damage on the Arcaladon every time it switches into Deoxys. Um, and it's also crucial I like speed more than I like defense, um, personally. Urshifu and the Overpons get a range of uh, different uh, Greninja hits, which I'll show you later. Um, but ultimately, we're just clicking Yawn plus Flip Turns, the Mountain Classic that he tried to run us, that he did run against us last week. We're just doing it with Swampert this time. And yep. uh, yeah, so ultimately, you switch into Arcaladon, click Flip Turn, click Yawn, etc. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Eddie's brought Earth, Power, Earth, Terra Earth Ring at all. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yawn is also really nice because of it is Ogre Pond Fire. Um, because I don't know if I've seen him like, bring that at all. 20 Pokemon on this team. Like it can be any Ogre Pond form. It can be uh, any Basket Legion form. It can be any Oracorio form. So I have to account for a lot of different variants of different Pokemon. Um, ultimately, Yawn is really nice because Water Absorb Ogre Pond Wellspring will come in on my flip turn potentially. So Yawn is a nice sort of mid ground click um, if I figure that happening. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty true. Useful. It's true. Like, way to take advantage of our Caledon, get rocks up, and reposition myself in a, in a way that's favorable to me. So that's good. Our other way to pressure our Caledon as well as the rest of the team is with Zamazenta. Now, Zamazenta's matchup is quite tricky here. I almost didn't do this matchup against Alex. I almost didn't choose this matchup against Alex because I thought it was actually Zamazenta's worst matchup of the season. Obviously, it's still a Zamazenta, so it's coming. Um, but uh, between Static Zapdos, Flame Body, Talon Flame, uh, a you know, listen, listen, fire, potentially I tried. Hard walls hit. Um, Zamazenta, like, struggles they have Tom Toxic, whereas DOS is, I can run full um, physics. Kind of so, yeah, right, pass. really? Um, nonetheless, it's still really good to the rich man's electro and other things. It has a very, very good it. speed tier here, just barely outspeeding the Talon Flame. And uh, just clicking, like, close combat, Stone Age Psychic things is good coverage against the team. It's just a question of if I can predict the switch outs like Plot Sire and Zapdos and make effective doubles into something like Deoxys Speed. That would be really good for me. So we are just rocking with three attacks that get, again, perfect coverage against the team, with the exception of Basket Legion, which I don't think is going to be that big of a deal. Um, and Reflect is there to cover some kind of situation where, say, I'm in against Duraludon and I'm afraid of say, him calling my double or something, I can click Reflect uh, to take the mm -hmm. Body Crest, or I can click Reflect on a potential, like, say, Cloud Sire coming in, which will then allow me to go back into the Oxus Speed, choose something like an Earthquake or a Gunshot from Cloud Sire quite easily, and then start, you know, again, firing off those Spec Psycho boosts like I want to be doing this matchup. And then um, Reflect is also nice to click against Urshifu. If it clicks something like, you know, Swords Dance or whatever, it just, again, neutralizes Urshifu just a little bit more. Um, yeah, so that's that's the team. That's, that's, that's the Zamazent. That's all we're looking at here. Um, pretty standard so far, um, but yeah, that's that's what we are. Um, we're running Choice Scarf, Protean, Greninja. Obviously, we've run Battle Bond a little bit more this season, but I think Protean kind of okay. here. Um, I was between Specs and Scarf, but Scarf gives me really good speed control that I need. Scarf gives me the ability to outspeed Talon Flame, gives me the ability to outspeed Scarf Urshifu, gives me the ability to outspeed Scarf Grass Ogre Pond, which is a possibility to come because it's his only potential Scarf that outspeeds max speed, Deoxys Speed. Um, and yeah, it also is a good win con in the end. I think I want to look towards Greninja as a win con after Deoxys breaks because if Deoxys can break the AVR Caledon, yeah, uh, Scarf you know, Defiant Ogre Pond is kind of crazy. Okay. Sensor, all its viable if the necessary Pokemon is dead. So, you know, okay, I like that. Or um, dies, then Dark Pulse is looking quite free. If, you know, uh, Arcaladon properly dies from the Deoxys, then Active Sensory looks free because Psychic Spam is, is really nice here. And then Ice Beam is also quite nice if uh, the Earth is gone or if, you know, the Rain Mode is gone as well. So, uh, the other reason we have Scarf uh, Greninja is because uh, Swift Swim Basket Legion scares the shit out of me. And uh, we're always outspeeding Swift Swim Basket Legion with Scarf Greninja and KOing it with Dark Pulse. So, that is the other reason why Greninja with a Scarf is much more necessary here than, say, Greninja with a um, no, that makes sense. I like specs. it. Uh, U-turn is just there because I didn't really know about her move, um, but I think it can still be useful in a late game where I have to make some kind of like prediction, um, and that's, that's kind of just it. Uh, yeah. Uh, next one we're going to look at is Banded Dragonite. So Banded Dragonite is actually our dedicated Big You just want to be able to lead Dragonite Pablo. and force him into immediate defensive positioning. Because what I like about this matchup is while he does have a lot of defensive checks to some of my mons, like Zapdos for Zamazenta or Arcaladon for uh, Deoxys, he's going to be forced to pivot into those quite frequently. So if I'm using a different mon to try and get those like defensive Pokemon out early so I can get information Yeah, I really like this. I really like the like, idea of this. Them, say like force Zapdos in a position where it has to like, boost fire. Two, which allows me to get in the specs Deoxys or whatever. Like I want to be able to just put immediate pressure on his team right away. Force him in that is a great so lead. Really pivot into my offense while he's wasting turns, say recovering or Again, might like, have to call it Big so, Pablo. That's what I'm saying. Here. I have Spadef to live offensive Ice Beam from Lead Politoed, which is something I've noticed he does He does a little bit. Um, and then Ice Spinner hits stuff like Cloud Sire, Ogre Pond, um, uh, Zapdos. Uh, Earthquake is also nice to pick Cloud Sire, but Dragon Claw is quite free. I was between Dragon Claw and Scale Shot, but I just didn't want to miss, so <laughs> we went Dragon Claw. And uh, it's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty safe click. Like, I don't think um, Whimsicott or Wigglytuff are like entirely guaranteed against my team. I actually think Wigglytuff is like not as bad as people might think it is in this particular matchup because it can spread T-Wave and actually choose like- Yeah, I, I don't like, hate Wiggly Tough, I mean- well, But ultimately like- Very <laughs> discount fat, free. And if it's not like it. comes or if, uh, you know, Wiggly Tough comes again, it's just by clicking one of those other coverage moves like Ice Spinner or Earthquake and forcing it into a defensive positioning where it either has, it either has to click Leech
that's terrifying. So um, while we will lead this, it's not going to be sort of like a lead and then die type lead. It's going to be a lead. I want to go. I don't want to spoil um, myself, but I want to go to like the dock and see if she hit, like like is, I don't know if she's brought um, in order to uh, you know hold a priority. I feel like I've seen Quillfish show up. I don't know if I've seen the bear. Protective pad Serena. I wanted to spinner this game because I don't want to get like super hazard stacked on, especially since I don't have boots on my Dragonite. Potentially for the first time this season. I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to make sure I have a spinner. I don't necessarily know if rocks will come. Like if Wigglytuff comes, it probably carries rocks. But if Cloudsire comes, it's probably carrying T spikes or spikes. If our Caledon is AD, it probably won't be able to run rocks. He could run like a spikes ogre pond as well. Either way, none of these are really good for me. So I want, I do want to make sure I have a spinner. Nonetheless, I want to make sure I get something out of Serena. So with protective pads, I'm bypassing static from Zapdos, obviously, and then the pretty obvious helmet from Cloudsire. Um, and what I'm able to do with Rapid Spin Terra Ice is click Rapid Spin and then guaranteed KO a defensive Zapdos with Terra Ice Triple Axel. Okay, okay, okay. Pedal Blizzard okay. is again just because I don't want to miss, but uh, it does like 90 something for Rapid Strike. Terra um, so Ice Triple Axel is going to be nuts. Chunks, I hope it like blows like back that Zapdos. Also, this thing in general is just really good switch into Politoed. It allows me to sort of like position into the passive mod. Or, or, or Talon Start clicking Rapid Spin to get my speed boost up and then potentially KO the rain or force it out. Well, she mentioned um, like the, the helmet on Cloud Sire or the static on Zapdos. Flame Body Talon Flame is also a potential, maybe? To help out with something like this so over over going for that and then going for a a terra ice triple axle oh, uh, i hope that does well I, I guess if it's like terra steel uh wins got um i wanted to go low kick obviously for the arcaladon but it turns out our caladon is like very light for some reason despite being a bridge so low kick's only 80 base power so we have to run a jump kick um to uh do any damage to the arcaladon so that's the team i feel pretty good about it to be honest with you like i think the matchup is good it's the reason why i chose the, the the match um and that's mostly just because like specs reactive speed should always play one every time it comes in um, with the exception of our caladon and the rest of the team is positioned to react to that so that's the uh, that's the team hopefully it goes well all right we're fucking here we got playoffs I'm we're doing it again i think the we're doing it it is pod sire is a homie that's someone, facts especially someone who you chose to match up against is the prospect that's losing, that's facts bob was telling me he uh got master ball rank with a quad sire um i'm incredible in a way expecting something that i'm not expecting if that makes sense like I think there's a couple ways he can go about this, but we'll see. All right, I was right. Um, so it's Ogrepan Wellspring. That is very interesting. So yeah, Ogrepan Wellspring and Hellbound Greninja probably. Brought the bear um, twice. But Ooh. after seeing this Ogrepan Wellspring, okay. I think it makes less sense. It's not rain, which is kind of insane. It's also the female Vascu Legion. Okay. Um, Without rain, that means adaptability, I'm pretty sure. So that's good. Um, yeah, female we female Vascu Legion special Darkles, attacker with adaptability with probably. Um, slash if we can eliminate and Whimsicott so not like getting Rain Dance. Give Whimsicott so Rain Dance. Make it an S tier. Make it an S tier Prankster mod. I know it's got the Encore Sunny. Or the Encore. For some reason, I'm getting cold. The Prankster Sunny Day. Especially against this team, I feel like he's beating But I definitely think. Let me move my camera. Where is Fabian, which is who? It is the Whimsicott. So, Zamzato would have been better, but that's okay. Um. Okay. So, Whimsicott is here. Do I take a hit from Whimsicott, even if it is Specs Terra Fairy? I do take a hit no matter what. Um. There's no Rocker. You Band Ice Spinner? Makes a ton of sense. Um, raw? Just see Moon Blast come off. It's a raw Moon Blast. So that does like literally nothing. Um, and then Ice Spinner's gonna come off. So it's not Specs. Does this just die? It does just die. Okay. Damn! <laughs> so all of a sudden the Terror user <laughs> is gone. Um, and Let's go. So Dragonite's uh, multi scale is broken. Um, but it's not the end of the world. So yeah, no, you're still thick speed. as hell and still toss off Bandit Extreme Speed. But I don't. I, I want to figure out this Arcaladon first. I love Maybe. this. That sounds like Vasily Legion. Okay. So this could be Scarf. Oh, I love that he shiny. Oh my god. I'm sure. Um, when it comes down to it, Serena is my least valuable one. Um, I, think I, I love go that. Oh my off. god, that's so good. I, I want to play Arceus again now. And I can pivot accordingly. If it is Ice Beam. A huge part of me wish I can go uh, Gren there, and maybe maybe it's worth it, but if, if Gren gets Ice Beam frozen, it's like the end of the world. So Shadow Ball comes off. Is this KOing? That does a ton of damage, and it's Life Orb. Okay. I think Life I can actually preserve okay. this and go into Gren and fire off a Dark Pulse, because it forces him to react to a Dark Pulse, which is, which is nice, and it only answers the Arcaladon. Which frees it up for um, her. Uh, he makes a double here. So this is at 90 now. It's Vasco Legion. And he goes hard into the Arcala. Whew. Okay. That's pretty bad for me. Um, I don't want to U turn and activate stamina. I think I'm just going to go hard. Yeah, body. no, I was thinking about it. I have to be questioning <laughs> the possibility of Solar Beam, but. If I would say Scarf, which is probably why he made that play. Dragonite can sometimes be a little, little later, Zaki. I think there's been a lot of... Uh, Dragon Pulse over Draco Meteor is There's been a fine. lot of power creeping with this recent now, gen. It's gonna tell me so I don't... I wouldn't say yeah, Dragonite so is like... That like it's, it's, looks it, like some... It can be earlier half. I mean, where did... Metal Burst comes off. Okay. Good to know that he has that. I can that tell you... I get a Yawn here. Um, let me see. Pokemon Premier League Season 2. Let me pull up the draft. I'll tell you. So, in Pokemon Premier League, draft. 
talent thing. Interesting. So this, like, um, is boots, right? Because I just got rocks up. It's not solar beam. I could flip turn here. Uh, Eddie got this go on her one. third oh, pick. Like, I better switch in. So that would have so so round we'll round three for Pokemon, Pokemon so Premier League. So we see U-turn come off. That's fine. Shuckle Premier League. Pokemon, I think Chimp okay. got it right. I think our positioning is still decent. Jazz, thank you so much for the fifty-two months. Welcome back. Okay, so it means we're we doing well. Top boots, so it's again probably AV. Flip turn. Chimp had Dragonite. Who had Dragonite? Um, and he's Chimp go had Dragonite, boost. right? It's a thing. We'll deal with it. <laughs> no, who had um, Dragonite? Did Dragonite go undrafted? And now my question is like, a Dragonite player? What am I even going to? Because my answer. My dumb chat was this help. Part. Um. Dragonite go undrafted. I don't want to waste my defense buff. Who had? I think Dio will allow me to go back into Pert. Which is cool. It seems kind of risky. I think I'm gonna go Dio and I'm gonna go back in the perk. Oh, Chimpek did have Dragonite. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so it went. So Dragonite went round three in the Pokemon Premier League, round six in Shuckle Premier League. So it really depends on it really depends on what you are what you are looking to like. Um it really depends on what you are trying to like do out of it and I, I i talked a lot during this exchange of hands here so i want to go hard my skip back just a little bit but really depends on I what you value you know questioning the possibility of solar dragonite i feel like but used to be very s tier why he made that play, um as far as like i would be a draft shocked pokemon if he willing to i think with the power creep happened. it probably got put down to like a, a, a is fine i think i'm gonna get my a minus maybe i mean multi-scale does good um and it's gonna slowly put this thing you know probably probably a probably looks like some attack Metal Burst comes off. Okay, good to know that he has that. That does mean that I get a Yawn here. Oh, yeah. He switches. It might be Ogre Pump to stop the uh, flip turn. It's Talent thing. Interesting. So this, like, is Boots, right? Because I just got Rocks up. It's not Solar Beam. I could flip turn here if he tries to go into Ogre Pond. I don't really feel like I would better switch in. And if he goes Ogre Pond, I feel comfortable just going into Zama. So I think double I'm Yawn, Double Yawn, so Double Yawn. So we see U-turn come off. That's fine. Okay. Hey, what's up, John? Ogre Pond might come in, and that's okay. I think our positioning is still decent. Actually, this comes in. Interesting. Okay. So it means we have a flip turn on. It's not boots, so it's, again, probably AV. Flip turn's gonna come off, um, and he's gonna get a stamina boost. It's a thing. We'll deal with it. <laughs> um, and now my question is, like, what do I even go into? Because my answer was this part. Um... I don't want to waste my defense buff. Yeah, no, I respect that. I think Dio Focus Blast will allow the me to go back into Pert, which is cool. It seems kind of risky. I think I'm going to go Dio, and I'm going to go back into Pert. The Noodler. But what progress does that force me? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It does allow me to get my Citrus Berry. <sighs> yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like this though, because my, my switch into this is, is very slowly dying. Um, I think I'm gonna flip. Or do I yawn again? I think I yawn again. I want to force something to sleep. And if he's not going yeah. to Ogre Pond, what that's gonna be, sleep, it tells I think me that it's likely like a set, for her. which is making me regret not having Sludge Wave on my body press. 244 to 120. So that could be a roll. Um, but he has to switch here. He has to. He doesn't have a choice. So we'll go flip turn here or we go hard into an answer i think the actual like move ironically is to go zama here even though it would mean i have to chew a chew a um okay word sentences it would mean i have to chew a fucking body press the stone edge is so valuable or i could just go into dio dio might be the play let's go dio he switches out yeah yeah this is what she wanted to do was in. get uh oh he goes over that's even better okay is what you want to do is get Deoxys in in front of uh, as much play as you could. without question here. It's just like clicks. It's like specs, yeah, specs cycle boost and stuff. I don't think he can afford to let this go down. <sighs> he does let it go down. Okay. Ogrepon is gone. But I haven't sent Zama in. You know what I mean? All right, there's this thing. Do I just want to, like, cycle boost this? <laughs> like, it's, it's necessary damage, and it gets in range of... Um, the other thing. Is Dio dead to like a max adamant hit? Deoxys yes. versus... Dio has 12 Caledon. life points. No, not a Caledon. Talent Flame. It's not Choice Band. It's Boots. Great Bridge should never KO. Nothing should ever KO here. So I think I just Psycho Boost for like as much damage as humanly possible. 
bold. I don't, I don't need chip on this. Or I don't, I don't, I don't care if. Uh, I mean, okay. Gets jumped. Yeah, we see U turn come up. Okay. So I live that easily. Damn. Like, very easily. See, it's not even max attack. It's like no attack. So Talon flames at like 35. Damn. If I can chip down this Arcaladon, I'm in a good spot. Zapdos is here. <laughs> Zapdos is now. Um, we could Zapdos see is also. I think this is the time where I just, I just have to sack Bimbo Doll. I don't know. Uh, I'm afraid of like clicking Psycho Boost may have been the downfall of me there because. Hurricane. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So Bimbo Doll, Bimbo, Doll, Bimbo Doll's dead. This thing's Hurricane. Um, was this thing Boots? I don't even remember. I think it was. I think I would have noticed if it wasn't. I think yeah. I just go deal again. And click Psycho Boost. <laughs> I think that's my play. Psy spam for the win. Yeah, okay, so it was boots. I just go deal and click Psycho Boost again. If this Spec die, Psycho say, Boost, Psy like, Spam is great. No, it's dead. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Specsio is doing everything that I thought it would in this matchup. The Oxus has claimed two things so far, so let's let's keep it going. <laughs> um if I get past Legion chips just a little bit. That's the bridge. Um, little rock damage, little, little, you know, little Zama something, here. something. I might, but Metal Burst is scary. I think I want to go hard Zama. You get your defense boost, yeah. I'm with the vision, I'm with the vision. Terrible. So, here's where things get nothing. weird. Um, I don't think it's worth ever clicking Reflect here. I think if he KOs me with Metal Burst, that's fine, because then Scarf Gren wins. So let's just click Close Combat. He switches out. Oh. Okay. Talon play? Bardex. Yep. So the Talon? That's the Talon. Okay. It's a defensive Talon. I'm sure this won't kill. I might get Flame Body. I don't get Flame Body. Um, You're. Nope. Not my speed. Not my speed. Hi, Eddie. I think I'm still Leo okay. is absolutely broken. I think I will just Psychic Fangs here. No Flame Body Burn. Huge. Um. If I did get Flame Body Burn there, I think I still would have CC'd the, um, the thing. You know what thing I'm talking about. Um, okay. Zom is still incredibly valuable right now. I think I just go into the puddle, the sack off. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I love the Basket Legion Shiny. I cannot get over that. Agility. Okay, that's oh. Fine. <sighs> oh. Oh. Okay. Um, oh. 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 Oh shit. Okay. Um. Earth power here. Is Zama dead to a life orbit? I didn't even think about it. Oh doing. no. Basket Legion. Oh <sighs> no. It's probably modest. Modest life orb. Modest life orb adaptability. Jeez. Should not be. Should not be doing it. Psychic Things isn't doing a ton though, which is what's what's scaring me. You just have Stone um, Edge and hope. What does this get for Gren though? Going this yeah. throw. Um, I just Psychic Things here, right? Let me actually see. Like, what does this get? Like Focus Blast or something? I don't know. Oh, that agility was such good play. I don't think this KOs though. Yeah. Oh, okay. So two life orb hits on top of the psychic things is great. Least valuable mon. One ironically Deoxys. Because this outspeed Dio now. Yep. It doesn't get a grass move. It doesn't get a fighting move. I don't think I'm dead to anything. Unless I'm like majorly throwing. Either way, Dio is least valuable. Damn. Just throwing away. I love it. Oh my god. Edge of my seat. Okay. Let's take a look at Gren. Life Orb Modest Hydro Pump versus Gren. It doesn't look like it. Like, it doesn't look like it does it. Um, am I missing anything? I don't think so. I might die like Hyper Beam, but that's okay, right? So I think I go Gren and I think I click. Oh my god. Fucking Hyper Beam? Because that allows me to bring in Zama without forcibly giving it a defense boost. Sounds right. This agility basket legion scares the shit out of me. Holy oh. Shit. Okay. 
Troubled Waters End. I think I misplayed, like, massively here on this guy's by the way. I just assumed it would have something for me. Um, okay. Do I think Stamina that this has to be Dragonite is the other question. I don't think it matters. I think no matter what, I go into Zama to click CC. Yep. And if I'm dead, I'm dead. But Pesca Legion takes Rock's Chip, etc. Like, I think I just CC here. Yep. Do as much damage as I possibly can. This might not KO, because, yeah. But Ice Beam from Grant should, should do it. Keyword should. Like, sure. <laughs> this went from what I thought was like a really comfortable win to me kind of like messing it up at the end. Um, just in case it, like, no, no. Ice Beam kills. Let's let's be real here. Like, I'm Protean. This does the most damage. That's a little Ice Beam. Yup. Yeah, baby. I'm going crazy. I'm not crazy. I swear. Dead? Dead. Holy fucking shit. That was so well played. <laughs> I should have just stayed in and clicked. I love it. Psychic things. I didn't think about the fact that it gets some means of boosting its speed outside of like Swiss Swim. Are you dead to rocks? You're not dead to rocks. Okay. So, Grand will claim two. I think. Wow. Okay. Good game, Alex. Holy shit. <laughs> um, Jeez Louise. I think man. I did what I need to do. I mean, I think I broke sufficiently with Deoxys, but oh my god. I was Incredible. So scared. <laughs> the clench. I clenched. At the agility. Oh my god. GG. That was a great game. That was a great game. Wow. Oh, I love Draft League chat. I absolutely love Draft League. Next up, we have Dave versus J Ricky. Sinistra is the gouging fire counter. I'm What's going on, Lynn? Welcome. I'm ready. I'm ready. Turn down the volume just a little bit. I am ready. Well, we made it. Against all odds, we're in the playoffs. All the way to the quarterfinals. I need the and lore. I got to pick my opponent. And I thought I made the perfect choice. Jay Ricky, coach of the Gigaton Hammers. So I called him up to let him know. Everything was sorted again. Everything was fine. Conspiracy was over. He didn't see it that way. I, I tried to explain to him. The, the Don Fanatic, Jack, had set it all up, but he said he wasn't so sure. Now, Ricky was brought onto the admin team to streamline everything, make sure the PPL was running as smoothly as possible. And I guess in that time, he had been watching everything. He saw my threats against me. He saw everything that had happened, and he wasn't convinced. It just didn't add up to him, apparently. He told me that for someone who'd supposedly been targeted since day one, I'd apparently done mighty well for myself. Only fought against two other coaches who made playoffs. He said that it almost defied belief. I tried to tell him, you know? I gave him the undeniable proof. Jack silenced Dr. Slacking. Won an early game due to massive hacks. Beat down the commissioners. I don't know, we were over the whole Council of Boomers thing. But Jack lost to a bunch of us to keep us trusting him. I thought all the evidence was there. And then Ricky pointed out that... Didn't I do all those things as well? I mean, he's not wrong, but... These weren't things that I could control. Ooh. And then he dropped the bombshell. Because Ooh. didn't that sound familiar to him? I'd forgotten. He was in the Bolt Division too. He saw all that alter ego stuff firsthand. Ooh. All he saw was two conspiracies with me at the center of both of them. Ooh. It was a risk he said he couldn't take in his role as an admin. Ooh. He didn't know the truth. He had submitted that to me firsthand. Maybe I was innocent, but he said there was too much coincidence. And if I was, then congratulations to me, said Ricky. I'd beaten the guy who was responsible. But if not, he said he couldn't let me win. It wasn't anything personal, but for the good of the PPL, he was going to have to take me down. I know Ricky's not a bad guy. I know he's not involved in whatever happened this season. But I also know he was making a big mistake. Dun dun dun. Hello everyone, Shroom Raver here, and welcome dun, dun, dun. to the playoffs for Season 2 of the Pokemon Premier League. Yes, indeed. Uh, we made it. We made it to the playoffs, uh, which is great. I didn't necessarily see myself getting to this position. I don't know that many people did, but we're here and we are now going to really make the best of it. Um, to let Let's you know go. about all things that have been happening, um, we solved the conspiracy. We found out what was going on. We found out who was behind all the threats and all these weird things happening in the regular season, and we have overcome them, which is great. And that put us into fourth position on the table after the regular season. Now, <clears throat> as I explained yes, before, the way this goes is that the top four seeds, as it were, uh, choose their opponents out of everyone else. So Mounte, he had an undefeated season. He came first. Uh, and he got to pick his opponent first, and he went straight for the jugular. He chose Kelly, who is seeded number two. 
which is wild, you know. Um, it's not all based on like that's such a pitch, that's such a like lay it on the table maneuver. But clearly, Mounte thought that picking C two was his best matchup, which is fine. Um, next up, therefore, was Addison in at C three. She decided to go against my boy Wanzi Baynet, which meant I had my choice to choose either uh, Vepsis, J Ricky, or Kalua Boom. Now, uh, I decided to choose Ricky. We are going to be going up against J Ricky and the Gigaton Hammers. Today's links down in the description below. Make sure you check them out. <coughs> and yeah, it's been an interesting one. Uh, hopefully, there'll be something in the intro that you can use to get an idea of how things are between us. Um, I messaged hey, him in contact with Hey, I'm sorry to hear it turned out that way, but I'm happy to hear you reflect well on it. That's over. awesome. But Ricky, he is an admin of the PPL, and it is his job to make sure everything is streamlined. And he is not as trusting. He has his misgivings about the PPL. Some, some similar to mine, some different. He's not sure whether things are as black and white, you know? I don't think he trusts me. And that's sad, you know? I hold nothing against Ricky. He's, he's a good man. He's doing a great job. But unfortunately, it seems he doesn't fully trust us. Uh, presenting some evidence or ideas in his mind that we might have more to do with it than nope, the I, I see it. I, I see it. I was a victim throughout this, but we came through. And unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to beat Ricky um, because he's not going to go down without a fight. He's not going to let me win this league if he thinks I've got something to do with what's been going on. So unfortunately, I hold Ricky in the highest regard, but we're going to have to take him out. Gonna have so, to kick his ass. Ricky's team, he is rocking one of the Premier Sun teams, one of the Premier Weather teams. He has got, as you see on screen, Gouging Fire, Manaphy, Ting Lu, Slitherwing, Klefki. Oh, no, that's fine. I was looking at the wrong screen. Klefki, Azelf, Cyclozar, Miss Magus, Ninetales, Victory Bell, and the Clefairy. Very, very dangerous things going on there. He, uh, he's he got two particularly nasty uh, Terror Captains. Uh, Miss Magus can go Fighting Ghost Fairy, um, and the Victory Bell can go Poison Dragon Fire. <coughs> He has got some big, big threats. He has been using them very, very well. That Slitherwing, he has been using incredibly effectively. Gouging Fire has been the MVP of the regular season. He is getting the most out of this Sun team, even with non-Sun parts. Like Terra Dragon Victory Bell. Been very difficult for huh. me to break. Klefki is annoying. Cyclozar, I maintain, is one of the best defensive mm. utility mons in the format. So, we have got to get creative. We have got to uh, do our best to get past Ricky here. With the following team, we are hey, starting up, off with Roselli doing, Berry Garchomp coming in here. 240 Roselli speed, Berry. max attack, everything else in 2 speed death. Sword Dance, Earthquake, Scale Shot, and Fire Fang. It is a set we have been using quite a lot. The Roselli Berry is on there because he has a lot of mons that can run fairy coverage moves. I mean, you've got Dazzling Gleam on the likes of the Manaphy and the Azelf. Yep. Um, you've also got it on Miss Magus, which can Terra to go even more. Uh, Klefki can run. It's very sad, but isn't necessarily the most powerful. And of course, you've got that Clefairy. So the Roselli Berry is going to enable us to take hits where we can and try and set up Sword Dance and the Scale Shot. My, my end game sweeper option, or at least one the of the Clefairy. best. The Clefairy, chat. Next up, we have Citrus Berry Mew. This is a very bulky and quite speed speedy set. Uh, we've got max HP, 136 speed, timid nature, sorry, jolly nature, uh, 124 to speedette, knock off, super fang, U-turn, stealth rock. Stealth rock going to be very okay. useful against oh, yeah. Ricky. He has hey, what's up, Jan? How you doing? Uh, the chip damage from those hazards. I'm doing well. Um, and Mew is here to get big damage. We are on match three out like of four fire, the of the watch party tonight. Away. Those top four will take hits. So if I can just cut that HP in half, it doesn't have a great amount of recovery outside of, like, wish on the Clefairy. It's been not, some you know, crazy games. The fairy can be a threat in its own right. Can be very to take down. Hex was so fun, Hunter. I was talking about it at the beginning of stream. It was, it was it just like my main a breath of fresh air. <clears throat> offensive I had a great uh, 48 like hours Manaphy, out there. Uh, Klefki, Azelf, even the Victory Bell, and certainly the Ninetales. I think to everything list. went as it should have. Next up, we have fully physically defensive Sinister. Coming in here with Heatproof Leftovers, Strength Sap, Stun Spore, Terror Blast, and Shadow Ball. Um, as ever, Fairy and Ghost Coverage, <coughs> excuse me, is fairly decent into Ricky's team. Uh, weirdly, the Sinister is going to be my best answer to the Gouging Fire. With that Heatproof and Terroring up, there is little he can do in the way of two-shotting me, and I can Strength Sap back, I can Stun Spore if he's got like a DD up or something. <coughs> excuse me, I've still got a cough. And yeah, Sinister is hopefully just going to sit around here I do and like that. chip away at things slowly for my sweeper options to come in after the fact and deal with them more effectively. Next up, we have Scarfed Hisuian Samrot, once again, coming in here. Uh, 224 speed jolly, uh, nominal investment put into defense. We have Ceaseless Edge, Sucker Punch, Razor Shell, and Flip Turn. Scarfed Samrot is going to be fairly, fairly necessary. Um, it is outspeeding, of course, the Slitherwing. Um, Sucker Punch Scarfed is interesting. You know, I want to be able to outpace a Banded Gouging Fire, but I'd also like to be able to outpace a plus one Gouging Fire. And Sucker Punch seemed like the best option on there. Um, it can be useful in niche circumstances, but realistically, I want to get Hazard up. His only removal that I can see there is the Cyclozar. Other than that, you're going to have to be relying on heavy duty boots quite a lot. So yeah, so yep. I'll to turn around, get hands up where I can, and maybe pick something off that's weakened with a sucker punch. Next member of my team is going to be the Okie Dogie. Uh, we have a very bulky Okie Dogie here with a Rocky Helmet. 
Um, max HP, 164 speed, 96 defense Ooh. with an Azimuth Nature. We have Bulk Up, Drain Punch, Fire Punch, and High Horsepower on there. This is going I to like be that. my best answer to the Slither. I like that. both of its um, stab moves. Uh, Earthquake for coverage could be a bit of a problem, but in the sun, Fire Punch is doing a lot, and I can hopefully try and bulk up on it if needs be. Uh, Rocky Helmet to get that chip damage from the likes of U-Turn. It will also at least take anyone hit from Gouging Fire, which is super nice an option to have. Uh, that speed, I believe, is allowing me to outpace uh, Victory Bell outside of the sun, I think. Um, possibly for uh, an uninvested... Um, something, gouging fire. I think it might be able to do that as mm -hmm. well. Uh, but Okie Dogie is here to just tank a physical hit here and there and hit hard back. Now we get onto the final member of the team, and this is realistically the one that holds my team together. This is Dual Screens Ryko. Um, yeah, I'm busting out Dual Screens Ryko here with the light light. Um, max HP, max speed, allowing me to speed tie with that as should it come. Uh, Volt Switch and Aura Sphere are my last two moves. Volt Switch is very obvious on a Dual Screen setter. Aura Sphere is just ensuring that I'm not completely hard walled by the Ting Lu. Okay. So yeah, that is pretty much my team going into this. Looking at Ricky's team, um, there is stuff that I am anticipating him to bring, quite honestly. Um, the Gouging Fire, That's I'm fully expecting. Um, the Slitherwing, I'm expecting to be Scarfed. Um, I'm expecting to have will o as well. The Miss Magus, I'm fully expecting Scarfed, so they can outpace my plus one Garchomp after a scale shot. Ninetales will be here. Klefki, I'm fairly certain, will be here. Um, and the Ting Lu as well. Um, Azelf could be interchangeable with the Miss Magus. I don't see him going Cyclozar, realistically speaking. I think he's going to rely more on boots against my team, because I don't think Cyclozar is going to get him a lot of momentum, despite the fact that normally it would. Um, so that's what I'm really looking at here. The Klefki, I'm fully expecting to be a uh, foul player balloon. Uh, that's really what I'm banking what I'm on. Saying. Stuff like the Ting Lu, he could bring, but, you know, it could be interchangeable with something else. The Manaphy, I don't really see coming. I think he's going to go hard in on Sun, which also brings the Victory Bell into question. So that is also an option. But uh, those are the kind of things I'm looking at for him to be bringing. Hey, hey, so hey, listen, ado, listen, listen, listen. Right listen. Okay, okay, okay. Chat, 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 chat. Listen. We're going to talk about dual screens Raikou. I brought dual screens Corviknight, okay? What it? I don't know. Maybe dual screens Raikou is cooler. I don't know. I don't know. 20 minutes behind catching up and answer your question. I brought Earth Ring twice all season. It's never tarried. Ah! My heart. I wanted Earth Ring so bad. And then you're like, it's going to be my Terra Captain. I should have traded you Earth Ring for Zamazenta, quite honestly. That's how we should have played that out. So, as you can see, Ricky has decided to bring Gouging Fire, Klefki, Ninetales, Manaphy, Miss Magus, and Super so Sun lot of what featuring I was to Gouging bring. Fire. No Lu is nice, but the Manaphy is there. That could be a bit of a problem. I don't have too many things that actively want to switch into it. If it's got a Tail Glow up or even a, um, a Take Heart. So, there are problems here that we're going to have to deal with. Either way, looking at it, I'm pretty sure that Samrot is going to be my lead. Um, I see no reason not to do this and just get up spikes yeah. if I can or flip turn out if I need to. Get a nice little spike up there. So, here we are. It's hey, what's up, Rums? How you doing? Against J. Ricky and the Gigaton Hammers. Now, he is going to go straight in with Sun. He's leading off with Ninetales. I'm going to go with my Samrot now. With the Sun up, as you'll see, in comes the Drought. Uh, I'm not going to be able to one-shot him. Um, with anything I choose to go for, so Razor Shell won't be doing it. Realistically, it's my player is going well, to turn. Well. I don't think he's three three four I don't see him starting now, party. so I'm not really fear fearing like a Scarf Solar Beam or anything. I'm and, just going uh, to we're do a little Sing Sapphire here later tonight. Just, just kind of grab a few encounters. So, going to come in, that's going to do around yeah, about progress, 30 to 40 which is nice damage. Now, my play here is either to go into my Mew or to go into No, Thursday, Thursday. And I'm deciding to go for the former. Mew is... We'll get a little Singing Sapphire in today. we got a few encounters we can get now that we're past five gym badges. Um, and then, uh, cause we get surf, we can go grab all the different routes and stuff like that around there. Um, so we can do a little bit of that, maybe take on the admin battle so we can get our Lottie encounter and whatnot. We're not going to go past weather center. Probably Thursday. We're going to make some pretty good progress because we've only got the four semifinals matches in SPL to watch. So, and then Saturday, Saturday might be a night to take it home, Chad, depending on how far we get and what our encounters are. I mean, if we... We make good progress. We make good progress on Thursday. Uh, Saturday, Saturday could be the day. I don't want to jinx it, but we're looking, we're looking pretty fancy. It's very much my sort of scouting option for this team. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Go to Mew and see what he wants to go for. So I'm going to send in my Mew. The fact he stayed in means either Willow, Solar Beam, or Baton Pass. And he's going to go Solar Beam, which is fine. Uh, my Mew is very, very specially defensive. So I'm fairly certain I can take this really well. Here comes Solar Beam, as you I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Why are we, why did we, we, we damaged it, we damaged it. What did we, did we just go I'm for just a gonna go flip turn, Get on out of there and scout out what this Ninetales wants oh, to do. Oh, goes for the flip turn. Okay, so, goes flip turn, for the flip turn. That's going to do eh, around about 35%, which is nice. Hey, damage. what's up, Stefan? <laughs> now, doing? my play here is either to go into my Mew or to go into my Raikou. And I'm deciding to go for the former. Mew is very much my sort of scouting option for this team. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Go into Mew and see what he wants to go for. So, I'm going to send in my Mew. The fact he stayed in means either Willow, Solar Beam, or Baton Pass. And he's going to go Solar Beam. Which is fine. Uh, my Mew is very, very specially defensive, so I'm fairly Oh, certain. damn. Ninja revealed that he has cancer? The doctors found melanoma cancer on his foot, but it's, they caught it in early stages? Holy shit. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. 
That's unfortunate to hear. Hope he gets well soon. Glad they caught it early. My goodness. My goodness. Take this really well. Here comes Solium, as you'll see, doing just under 100 points of damage. Under 25% is absolutely fine by me. He is not yeah. going to want to stay in here at all. There's no telling what a Mew is going to do, but he's going to know that I'm bulky at the very least. My players try and get up Roxy. He doesn't have any hazard removal, so they're going to be there to stay if I can. Yeah, no, Roxy. He is going to go for the Tompos, uh, which is fine. Ooh, he's going to get out there. Obviously, time, he doesn't man. want to stay in. Um, my rocks are going to be incoming on whatever's going to come in on his side. Now, Ricky is going to go very offensive very quickly, which is not something that I wasn't expecting. Miss Major is going to come straight in here on my Mew as I'm going to get up my rocks. Now, as I mentioned in the sort of team preview stuff, I'm expecting this thing to be very scarfed. Uh, and I do not want to take a Shadow Ball. So I don't want to be going, staying in and going for knockoff. Um, I don't want to be staying in and going for U-turn. My play here is to go into something, the next bulkiest thing I can to take a Shadow Ball from this guy. Uh, but I also don't want him tearing up predicting my Suin Samurai switches. So realistically, That's my play is to go into my Raikou to try and scout out this Miss Major's. So, gonna get out of there with Mew. Don't want to be staying in, as I said. Gonna go into yeah, no, my Raikou. Yeah, no, max HP Raikou. I mean, Raikou's actually should be able to take a hit fairly well from a Scarf Miss Majors. As we see, he is just gonna go for the Shadow Ball. Coming in here and doing a good amount of damage. I think it's about sort of 35%, which is looking like a high roll on a Scarf set, as I would anticipate. So, I'm just going to probably go for the Volt Switch here. Uh, no real reason not to. I'm predicting Yeah, no ground type, actually, man. Looks, looks it's very clean. From a Raikou. Um, so, that's what I'm gonna do. Just go for the Volt Switch and try and get some initiative on him. Twist of the century. He's not Scarfed at all. He is not scarfed. We outpace him. Uh, I was not expecting that in the slightest. That really threw me that he was not scarfed. I would have put money on that Miss Major being scarfed. But we do outspeed. We get a little bit of damage on him. Um, so I'm just going to go back into Samurott here. Like yeah. expecting him to just keep going for Shadow Balls even if he's not scarfed. Um, I need to scout out what he's going to do. So I'm going to go into my Samurott anticipating taking a Shadow Ball. Uh, he's going to go for Nasty Plot. That is pretty spooky scary. Ooh. Now here's the thing. He, this is his Terror Captain. Uh, it's the only one I believe that he's bought. So whilst I'd love to go for knockoff or ceaseless, or sorry, for Sucker Punch or ceaseless edge here, I can't because he could just go Terra Fairy or Terra Fighting and ruin my Samurai. So Can I'm forced not, really here to go. For would Razor Shell? Let's let let's run a quick calc here. So my thought is you click Razor Shell in front of this thing. Sun's still up, maybe, maybe, maybe that's where we're at. So if we have Samurai, where's Scarf? Miss Magus, uh, we'll just put it as bright powder, sure. Fair fairy. The razor shell in the sun, forty nine to fifty. F and no, no, not with the sun up, not with the sun up. I was thinking, I was like, you just razor shell, right? You would have sun's not up. Never mind, don't mind me, don't mind me. The flip turn and get into something that can better take on a terror version of this Miss Magus, and then he goes for endure. Interesting. So Ricky is very much winning the um the Terra Mind Games here. I go flip turn. The do berry? Much. Here, clearly he's expecting some kind of dark move, so he's gone for Endure. What that means is very obviously in my mind is Custat Berry. And that is not something I want to mess around with. Now he's still oh, out of Custat Berry range, but he is also at plus two. So oh, what yeah, I'm gonna do here that. is I'm going to go into my Raikou, hoping to take a hit. I mean I know I'll outspeed him, that's the key. So now what I can do, come in with Raikou, outspeed him, and I can go for light screen. Now, potentially anticipating me to go for the KO here, Ricky's going to go for Endure again. It's going to fail. Raikou is going to get up the light screen. This is very Assume important. The now that he's hits from this nasty bottom of Majors a whole lot better. But he failed his last Endure, so I'm predicting him actually to go for it for a third time, and that's going to allow me to get up my Reflect. Now, Ricky really wants that cuff up to go off. I'm having none of it. Absolutely not. He's going to Endure, but I'm going to go for Reflect. The so now dual Reflect, right? Or the dual Reflect, like the dual screens. Can, Incredible. Which is great. Now, here is where I'm going to have to go for the Volt Switch. Um, if he endures, so be it. I actually have a plan of getting around him if he does. So, I'm going to click Volt Switch here. As you see, he doesn't endure, and Volt Switch, ooh, nearly takes him out. Oh. He is deep in the reds. But he hasn't gone for endure, that means he's going for an attack or a nasty plot. Most likely, he's going for Shadow Ball. Now, he may be at plus two, but I have a light screen up, so my play is to go into my Samurott here and see if we can't take a Shadow Ball at plus two behind a light screen. So, back in comes the Samurott, uh, in at full health. He is indeed going to go for that Shadow Ball at plus two behind a light screen. That is going to do vast amounts of damage because it is a crit. That's unfortunate. Damn, that that's but huge. But it is okay, because here, I know that his, um, his Custat Berry is going to pop, but this is one of those niche areas where having Scarfed Sucker Punch is actually going to come in really handy. Because I'm fully anticipating him to just go for the Terra here. Uh, he might as well at this point if he has it. So as you'll see, he is going to pop that Custat Berry, uh, and then we're going to see the animation for his Terra in. So here he goes. I was anticipating Terra Fairy, and as you'll see, we are proved to be fully correct in that assumption. There's the Terra Fairy popping off on the Miss Majors. Uh, he has Scarf, had his Custat, sucker punch. we have the Sucker Punch, and that is going to out-prioritize the Custat Berry, damn. which is really good. That very dangerous Nasty Damn, 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 damn. let's go, Dave. We are going to draw first Fucking cook, brother, this. fucking cook. Now, Ricky knows that I am locked into Sucker Punch here, and this is his opportunity to start running some support with his Clefty. <clears throat> yeah. I have to get out of there, I don't really have a choice. Uh, my best option is always going to be to go either into my Mew or my Raikou once again. He's obviously not going to be going for Thunder Wave here, um, 
because it's not gonna affect my Samurai. But either way, I'm pretty sure that Raikou is my best switch in. Mew is a close second. As it is, I think Mew is gonna be the one I choose to go into. I think Mew's fine. I think get two fangs to remove its item. He's super fangy. Yeah. Which is what I was anticipating him to have. Uh, but he doesn't have that. Mew is gonna be my play here because I can start super fanging, knocking off. There's nothing I can do about him getting up spikes. As you can see, that's what he's going to go for. <clears throat> so there's a layer of spikes up on my side. I can't do anything about that. But now there are options for me to sack off my Samurai if something on his side is getting out of control with boosts. Either way, I'm going to be going for Super Fang here to start whittling down this Klefki as quickly as possible. Now he's going to go for Light Screen here. Ooh. Originally, I was thinking he could be Sugar Berry, given that he didn't have the Balloon. But now seeing the screens, it's much more likely that he's going to be Light Clay, much like my Raikou. So Super Fanging all the way is going to be my play. There's no point in going for Knock Off here. If he's going to get up his Reflect, it's going to be around for max turns no matter what I do. So yeah, realistically, my play is to get one more Super Fang off at least. And then maybe you turn into Raikou to uh, see if I can't get the KO. So there is the Reflect, as anticipated. Um, we're going to go the double more screens for a, uh, battle. It's actually going to be a knockoff this time, not a super fang. Uh, and we are going to get rid of the light clay. It was a misplay on my part. I should have gone for super fang there. Like, seeing it, I should have known that he would be light clay and there was nothing I could really do about it. But now, I suppose, if he wants to save this clef key, um, he's not going to be able to get up as many turns of his screens as before. He gets the second layer of spikes as I go for a super fang right about now. My light screen is going to go away, so certainly now is my time to try and U turn into my Ryko, which is what I do. It's not going to kill the clef key, quite obviously. But uh, I'm going to get out of there. He's shown dual screens, he's shown spikes, he might want to try and get his third layer of spikes up at this point. But either way, my play <coughs> is to go into the Raikou. There's really not a lot he can do to me, offensively. Um, yeah, so, like Raikou is going to come in lean. here and going to see if we see like... his last move, uh, get hurt by the spikes, get the pressure off. As it turns out, that's not going to really matter, because he's just going to go straight for Steel Beam. Now, that would Love be a lot to my Mew. As it is, Klefki is going to go down to the Steel Beam, leaving I... my Raikou here I feel to like take I've on whatever he wants set. to do. Like and boy howdy, it's time for the big dog. It is him. It is Timothy. It is Gouging Gary. It's Gouging Fire. Uh, now, <clears throat> I check my side of the field. I don't have anything up. Right now, I'm thinking my best play is to just go for Reflect. Go for Reflect. Get it up. Raikou looks like it might have done its job here, to be honest. Uh, it's done great so far, but if I can get a Reflect yep. up to help something take on this Gouging Fire... The club name and Peel. Yeah. Now, we know he's not Boots, and we outspeed him, so we know he's not Scarfed either. That would imply he is Ricky's favourite bandit set. He's going to go for Scale Shot. He's actually going to miss, which is very unfortunate for him. Uh, whether that would have taken out my Raikou is debatable, with Max HP and a Reflect up. He is Choice Banded, like... It's fairly obvious, and I can confirm that he was. Uh, but, either way, I get my Reflect up, that's really nice. Now, I do want to free switch into my Sinister to try and take this guy on behind Reflect. So, my play here is to do what I mentioned earlier, and use Sex this opportunity with Spikes up to Volt Switch out of there, oh, and sack off and my Samurai. Samurai. Get your, get your to the Gouging like So, Volt Switch is going to come in, do pathetic damage, because he does still have, I believe, his own screens up as well. As I say, my play here is to go into my Samurai, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to sack it off. It was going to have to happen because I, like I have no hazard removal. But in comes the Samurai, as we say, did a good job against one of his big threats, that Magus, but now I down like he goes, it. and I have a free switch. Now, in the grand scheme of things, him missing his scale shot isn't going to really matter when it comes to Sinister. Um, I am Terra Fairy, and he is very much choice banded. So my play very, very much here is to tear up and just go for Shadow Ball and start getting damage. There is nothing he can do to me, so he's going to have to switch out, so it'll be nice to just get a bit of chip damage onto something. Shadow Ball's going to be my best play in that regard. If he wants to try and go back into the Ninetales to get the sun up, then that's going to do at least a bit of damage to him. Yeah. So, Ricky is going to get out of there with the Gouging Fire. He is indeed going to go back into that uh, Ninetales to get the Sun back up. Now, he has a Light Screen up, so this Shadow Ball certainly isn't going to take him out from this range. Uh, so as you'll see, I'm going to go for a Terra of my own, which is lovely. I'm now Terra Fairy, which means his stab moves certainly aren't going to be doing as much with Heat Proof. It's going to be negligible, even though I'm physically defensive. So, yep. Sinister, you're going to Terra up here and go for the Shadow Ball. Now, as I say, I don't have investment. He has a Light Screen up. This isn't going to KO. It will two hit KO, though. So that's not. We're just and plus now he's, he's stalling out the here. screens right uh, now in order to let do chunk, Sinistra do its thing. Won't do enough, or guard chomp like Excuse me to knock me out even in the sun. So my play once again is to just go for Shadow Ball and try and get rid of his Sunsetter. Now his best move to hit me is going to be the Weather Ball, but because it isn't super effective and because I have that Heat Proof, it's not even going to do over half. So I'm going to be able to go for Shadow Ball and pick off his Damn. Nine Tails. That means his Sun is gone. No more Which in the grand scheme of things doesn't matter too much. It was only really benefiting the Gouging Fire and potentially that Slitherwing. But he's not going into Slitherwing against the Bulky Fairy. That's for sure. Light Screen has gone away. Uh, his best play most likely is to go back into the Gouging Fire. And what do you know? There it is. However, I am behind a Reflect. I am very physically defensive. He can't hit me with Dragon Stab, and I have Heat Proof for the Fire Stab. My play, therefore, is to go for Strength Stab, scout him out, take the damage, get back yes, to the and Yes, sir. So, Adamant, Choice Banded, Raging Fury in the Sun is going to do fucking nothing. <laughs> this thing is a beast as a terror. I said it at the beginning. This is why I drafted Sinister. Uh, it does nothing to me. I'm going to go for Strength Stab and get back all of my health. So I am right back to full. His Reflect is gone. Mine is still there, and now I can just start firing off hits. He's locked in. He has to stay in. Uh, so I'm just going to start firing off Shadow Balls. As you see, Raging Fury is going to come in once again and do just no damage. He gets the two turns, so he is going to be able to switch out after this. But we have to ask ourselves, is there any point? The answer is no, because we know he's not boots. He is dead on switching. His best play is Damn. to just stay in and try and get as much damage stay on my Sinister, hit, yep. as little damage as that
There's no point to say him switching out. He is going to break through the confusion, which I suppose is good for him. He's going to get off one more Raging Fury onto my Curious Sinister. Curious if you wouldn't have strength step just to keep some, some, some longevity on there. So Sinister is going to go for that. I'm not in playoffs, so I can't. I can going to come in and guarantee and take it out. So the regular season MVP goes down. Sinister looking absolutely phenomenal in this match. The sun is gone, I am physically defensive, it is time for the Manaphy to come in. Another one of Ricky's big threats, most of been used to just break and do damage, hasn't actually got all that many KOs. But this is going to be his chance to try and set up, uh, he's not going to take me out in one hit unboosted. So, he is going to go for the tail blow. This is quite spooky scary. Not a huge fan of seeing that happen, but this is why we have stunts. We'll land the he's going to go for the stunts ball, that is going to paralyze the Manaphy. Uh, making it very much neutered as a threat. Um, it just means that something like uh, my Garchomp can guarantee outspeeding, my Okie Dogie will outspeed. There's a lot of stuff I've got that's now going to outspeed him, basically. Uh, but I don't want to be taking a hit with um, my Sinister from this guy. Sinister is still very useful for the Slitherwing, which hasn't made an appearance. So my plan here is to go into my Mew, see if I can take a hit, maybe get lucky with the Paralysis. We shall see. So Mew is going to come in here for my Sinister. It is now the least useful member of my team, essentially. So going to come in here, take the Hazard Damage. Doesn't quite put me in Citrus Rains, unfortunately, but it is going to get paralyzed. That is unfortunate, but it is the game we play. What it ostensibly means is that I'm going to be able to get a Super Fang off on him before I go down to whatever hit he wants to go for. Yep, that's true. And that's what I'm going to opt to do. Go for the Super Fang, that'll take him down by half of what he's got. He's going to go for Surf. Now, that is, of course, going to take out my Mew. But we got a bit lucky and we got a Super Fang off, which is going to make this guy a lot easier to deal with. Now, clear and obvious choice is to go into my Raikou here. I still live one iteration of the Spikes. And what I'm going to do is Volt Switch out on this guy, take it out, and then use Raikou like I use the Samurai as a Spike Sack if I need to. So I'm just going to click Volt Switch. No sense in me trying to get up screens yep, anymore. Keeping it around as... And of course. He has another Endure Mon, so he has two Endure Custat Mons here, the other one being Manaphy. So, great, can't quite take him out. That is unfortunate, but we do have a way around this. How many Custats? is to go into my Garchomp and then go hard back into Raikou to waste his Custat Berry. Yeah, uh, no, no, do. I like uh, that. I like, the play, I like the play, I like the but play. But Raikou is looking good to clear out this the game. Play so makes like sense. I say, I'm going to go into Raikou, uh, and as you'll see, I'm just going to go straight back into my list and go the hard play back makes into sense. Raikou off the Garchomp. There's the Custat Berry, as we knew was going to come. Garchomp's going to get on out of there, and I'm going to go into Raikou to sack it off to the Spikes and waste yep. his cast that break. Raikou's done a phenomenal job this game. Uh, the screen set was very much a good bring for me, I think. Uh, so Raikou goes down to the, uh, the Spikes. Unfortunately, it's all for nothing, because he's going to get paralyzed. Oh. That one doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, the other process was a lot bigger. There was nothing in front of him this time. But what it means is that he is now definitely not outpacing my Garchomp. He has two mods left. He has this guy, and he has the uh, the Moth, the Slitherwing. So I'm going to go for Scale Shot here. It's going to hit, it's going to take out the Manaphy, and that's going to put me at sure that you're like speed. Faster than that. that means is that Scarf. no matter whether he is Scarfed Moth or not, I yeah. will be outpacing him. So, in comes the Slitherwing. Uh, he is going to take the Rocks Chip, which is telling me more and more that he must no. be Scarfed. But, as you see, it doesn't feeties. matter because I'm a plus one speed with Scale Shot. Uh, so, I'm going to outpace him. going to go for a Fire Fang here. That's going to do a good amount of damage. It's not going to take him out. This thing is very bulky. He is going to go for U-Turn. Unfortunately, Garchomp's very natural Damn. too. That is not going to take out my Garchomp, and what it means is I don't have to risk a miss on this turn. Uh, with Fire Fang or Scale Shot. He is at a low enough amount of Let's health go. to the point where Earthquake Let's is go, going Dave. to take him out no matter what the outcome. It is his last Mon. I have, you know, two things that wall this guy to heaven and earth in the back, you know, Okidogi and Terra Fairy Sinister. But Let's go, Dave. Really necessary. Earthquake's going to come in, take out Heat. the Slewing from that range of health. And that is going to be the game. So, great game, Ricky. Uh, we do take a 3 0 in the quarterfinals of the PPL. Um, yeah, that was a very good game. Absolutely I enjoyed it. Absolutely crazy and hopefully, game. Ricky, that will prove to you. That this isn't a personal thing. Ooh. I'm not responsible for things that have been going weirdly and wrong in the PPL this season. Ooh, baby. That that was a game. That was a game. I like that. As a gouging fire stand. Ooh, that was something. All right. I am, in fact, a little Dano. This is match number four. This is Vepsis versus Kilaboom. This is a 15-minute video. I think it's the shortest video Vepsis has uploaded all season. What is up, my little Dano Smiths? This is Yoko Sunday Helsinki. I am a little Dano. We are here for the round one playoffs for my behalf, which is the top eight in the PPL season two. When I go up against Kilwa, who was in the playing round uh, between seed um, seven to camera. ten, there were three, four teams that were doing a playing round before I get to play, for example, and Kilwa made it. And based on how people were selecting before me, other coaches who are now in top eight, it happens to be there that Kilwa were the last two coaches left. So automatically it meant like, okay, we are playing each other, which I think is cool and fine for me. Honestly, I was hoping going into these playoffs that I get to play somebody that I did not get to play this season or a roster in general. So it's not included to this portion because all of you guys obviously prefer to watch the battle in itself. But for the die diehard uh, fans, I'll leave you guys the chance to watch the full detailed team builder in Mega Mokwa style back in the day when I select uh, or talk about each Pokemon and build their sets in front of you and give your thought, give yourself thoughts what I made them for and uh, all that good stuff. But my lead was always going to be the same that I live with Terra Colossal because I want to get up a guarantee Terralization off, uh, which is important for the Roaring Moon that he does bring. He also brings Donovan, Keldeo, Mark, and Nihilape. Okay. Uh, the Roaring Moon and Primarina. So dual waters. 
And the only mon that can Terra from his behalf is the Mark, which I believe it's Terra's were Crash, Poison, and I'm actually curious what was the last one. I have 30 seconds to check. Probably should have checked this before going to the battle, but I kind of had a very strong feeling that Kilowattro would come up. But he yeah, no Terra is was fire also on it. I'm going to keep that open for myself just in case, but Terra Colossal will be the lead, and we are going to be probably clicking Protect, especially if I see Primarina, Keldeo, and uh, Annihilate uh, in front of me. Roaring Moon I don't have to Protect versus. Donovan probably not either, technically, but it can be nice. Yeah, he leads with an Annihilate, so this could be a Choice Scarf um, Final Gambit, which means I want to press the Terralization button and click Protect. Yeah. This could be also a Focus as lead for Stealth Rocks, instead of Donovan having rocks. That could yeah, be Stealth possible, Rock, not on, it, uh, stealth rock on Annihilate is crazy. I think uh, that's like a, Final Gambit. That, that is so a, a wild and world. Because that's going to keep me safe. From that is a wild Gambit, world. Because if I allow it to Final Gambit my Colossal, I just straight out lose the Roaring Moon with a booster speed on it. Like, that's simply how it is. Like, I need to get this off. Get up a Protect, and let's see what he does. Bulk up. Okay. So, probably not... Probably Will not then Final Gambit. So, I'm going to Willow Wisp it. Willow if it's Slumberry, then I can that? go for it again. Until I attack it, the Rage Fist won't be too strong. And I can honestly spike after in front of it if I need to. He's going to bulk up again. It might be Resto Chest or Lumberry, but as long as I get this Willow Wisp off and I don't hit it first. And I do have a Choice Specs Gang out of Revenge Kill Lumberry? this eventually. No, maybe Resto Chest. We don't see Lumberry, so it might be Chesto Berry. <clears throat> Facade? So here. Facade? I think I'm better off going for a Spike first. Yeah, I'll go for Spike first. There's going to be eventually a turn that I think I'm going to call um, him pressing uh, potentially Rest. Does it get a speed boosting move? Like Trailblaze but or even something? even if he's plus I'm 6 terrified. and he doesn't have Rage Fist up, uh, boosted, how much is he doing to me? I'm terrified right now. I say he's plus 6 but burnt. I... Vestas is playing it way cooler than I would ever play it right now. That is a plus 3, plus 3 Annihilate. I don't care doesn't do anything burnt. to me. So I don't think I'm even in a roster to swap anywhere, even if he has Rest on this. Is it? Like Resto Chesto. Could be something like Blunder Policy, I'm true. We'll, we'll still clicking Spikes. Because I'm fully visually defensive with this Colossal. Well, let's... Okay, let's let's play the game. Let's play the game. This is the last match before we switch over to Sing Sapphire. Let me, let me open up a team builder. Part of me thinks... Part of me thinks... It is... So let's see. Accuracy... So he could he could be bulk up to attack like with like focus blast to miss or something. Oh, uh, uh, does it get trailblaze? It doesn't get trailblaze. It, bulk up blunder policy might send me through the fucking roof. It could have gone shots, but then it would lack something else on it. He's plus four again. I'm terrified. How many bulk ups does he have? I'm personally. He has four. I'm personally At point terrified. Does this? We are pretty close to that point. Because we know, because we know it was the thumbnail mon too. So we have a little bit more insight. Ugh. I almost want to go into Gengar now. Because after one turn of burn, I'm pretty sure Shadow Ball kills it if he doesn't rest. So I'm going to make that play. I don't think he Rage Fist is here while being burnt. He Rage Fist here? Oh my god, I literally can't. So I'm going to go into Gengar now and get up a Shadow Ball. He does go for the Rage Fist. Do not kill me, please. This might be a throw. It's a throw. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Is everything else physical? He's got the, he's got the Noivern. He's I got just Noivern. I my Specs Gengar in this match for no reason. I think... I'm going to try Why to keep we... focused, but... Is this me a being special, is this really special Terror really Blast? Would be like... <sighs> That's really bad. Can this be? Can this be? He's definitely Resto Chest on this, and I I thought I would get cast him there and go into Gengar, click Spec Shadow Ball, and not lose any resources. Why are we? Why are we not attacking? I know we don't want to boost the Rage Fist. Is this physical? Is it physical? Okay. Uh, Terror Blast? I feel like it has to be. I feel like he would rest now if he has it, so I'm gonna Willow Wisp. If he has Facade, then this this can get little dicey. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, losing specs Gengar like that is pretty big. Because now I need to utilize, like, Rotor Wasp, for example, to get some good chip damage. Or oh, not even getting Super Fangs off. Okay, Rage Fist comes off. Doesn't do a whole lot. Doesn't do a whole lot here. 
at what point should is I the, try is to the, the is the is the is the we haven't seen I haven't seen so like obviously Rotom's gonna have like it's not gonna do too much like that seems to be a little bit more defensive of this air slash like could we not mm. and I don't think my Neuburn set actually could we yeah, I, just say, can we I don't risk? do much, but I feel like I have to be really patient with this <laughs> and eventually my colossal I'm gonna bite then, through like, my, my fucking colossal tongue right now to this like twenty four percent. I just throw up a will always buff the chance he rests. Which he doesn't yet. I need to get myself into Citrus Berry Reigns. He's almost there. One more Rage Fist and he's there. Do you have all three spikes up? I think I will always again just to get my Citrus. This is really annoying. Yeah, now I have to kind of preserve this. How do I deal with mm. the rolling when this thing is slow? Mm. I really don't know. Ah, I'm gonna bite off my lower jaw. Man, losing the Gengar like that is really bad. Oh, and it's phys- Oh my god, and it's really physical don't... Valiant too. Oh, fuck. Not what I do versus Roaring if I don't have this healthy. So I feel like I have to go into Neuvern. And hopefully I have Lanes in Air Slash, so that fact that he's not maxed for death. Oh. He is just Strawberry. Okay, Train Punch. Okay. Oh, does Terra... The issue is that if I don't kill it and he rests up here, I cannot do much else to slash, it. So I think now I have to still go into Colossal and burn it, potentially. Oh, so okay. how much is Rage Fist doing? The Rage Fist is doing Spirit... so much, though. Oh. I'm just going to attack this. This this could turn out to be a, like, a very short game for my behalf, only because I threw Gengar like that. I'm good on him. Like, oh. I'm, I can only blame myself for making such a horrendous play. I'm just putting myself out of the playoffs just for making it. Now, there's a chance he may have to think that I have taunt on this, or I'm offensive, but please flinch. Flinch would be huge here. No. I think that's all she wrote, so chat. I might lose to this Annihilate Oprift. <laughs> I think that's all she wrote, chat. I that's... can't believe myself. I get 6 out on Annihilate Bleed. I'm just going to click Air Slash because I'm kind of chicken at myself. Like, I feel like I need luck. Which includes a flint here. Yep, that doesn't matter. And yeah, now, but now it's 150 thing. base power. Jesus. Like I'm, lo I'm losing either to this thing or I'm losing to the Annihilate. Mm. Now, off the chance I live, I'll click Press Will Wisp. But I don't think I'll live. No. I do get the Flame Body, which is nice. Jesus. But now, like, a Roaring Moon, if but it's still 150 speed, base power, speed, too. Well, there is a chance oh. that I don't, I guess, while I have my spikes up, but this Annihilate has done way too much work already as it is. Who has the best chance living here now that it's burnt? Does my Rotom have any chance of living? My Rotom does it's have a chance your, of living. It's your best bet. At this point, looking at my team, I kind of drain to punches. First. He drain punches treads and he rage fists. I don't believe how I played this game. This is so infuriating. I'm so mad at myself. Oh. You feel like you just hydro pump here? Um. Do I just go for, like, Nasty Plot here? Do I take enough? Because I have a Citrus Berry on this. Plus 6 burns. 150 base power move. 56 to 66. I want to say... And then at plus 2, how much am I doing? I think Nasty Plot into Hydro is the way I have to go about this. I have Citrus Berry, so hopefully it just puts me outside of range of this. <laughs> no, it does not. I, that, I have no chance winning this. I was about to say, yeah, I was like... Well, that was a game of all time for my behalf, that's for sure. Jeez. Now I'm going to press the like, spirit break and give it to Flame, but it doesn't matter. Well, that was... That was a fun season, am I right, guys? I'm I'm, I'm only salty and, like... No? Hopefully I can make this not a 6-0, that's pretty much... <laughs> Iron Threats, that's all we have for you, buddy. I'm pretty sure we just play press Earthquake. Oh, no. Uh, and we don't even kill it. And we get 6-0 by Annihilate Blade. Well, that was certainly a game of all time. Probably the worst game I've ever played. Jeez. Period. Oh. <laughs> so, good game. That's, that is a tough one. Uh... Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That, oh, that was, chat. that was... Oh, chat. That was something, man. 
that was something, man. Wow. Then he was an eight better in one match than I did an entire season. That was, that was, oh. That was something. Wow. I can't even, I can't even. It, it happens, right? It happens. Those lead matchups that just, you don't foresee coming. Oh, you know, hindsight teaches players to, you know, you know, how to, how to respond and do, and, you know, that this, this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, so no, 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 no commentary, no commentary on, uh, no commentary on, um, Vebs' character, right? Vebs is a very great battler. Um, I think he's, I think he's proud of his skills in a good way. I don't want to say he's like proud, like hockey. I don't think that's the case at all. But when you take pride in your own skills like that, and it, it, it does hurt a little bit. I've been there. I've been there. So I definitely feel for what he he's, he's likely went through during this. We've got a few weeks buffer in between these things. So, um, but I, I, I definitely feel for him. I definitely feel for him, and I hope he does. I hope he does shake it off. I'd love to see him do more, more draft battles. Ape can just go bananas. Vivid making a dad joke? Crazy. David needs to go to PAX next year so I can hang out with him. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say on that regard. Um, also, what I'm going to say on that regard is that we are going to switch over to... Okay, I my games weren't loading on Citra for a minute. And I was like, did they shut down Citra local downloads? Like, that'd be crazy. Um, I do want to switch over to... Good old... Singing Sapphire here. We're going to get a few encounters. We might do the admin battle. It's only nine. Uh, Jehovah, what's going on, brother? How are you? Yeah, no, Vivid. It was, um, I, I, I really feel like my bread and butter is, is like networking and like just being around people. I really feel like that. Uh, I really feel like that. That's just what I'm really good at. Um, like, like day one. Uh, I had four hours of sleep. The only caffeine I had all day was like a Mountain Dew out of a out of a uh, uh, blah, 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 vending machine, and then I had an espresso martini probably before dinner. So that would have been six o'clock or so, five o'clock maybe. Um, ran the whole day just on 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 good fucking vibes, man. Uh, I love that. I absolutely love that. Hopefully, I will get to do another one this year. Uh, the only reason I am able to do such things is because of my lovely wife who. Uh, spearheads parenting in my absence um, so I, I always want to make sure that I shout her out and appreciate her for all that she does because um, I wouldn't be able to attend those business trips without her let's get right into things here let's get right into things here uh, so this is the new layout I told you guys we got chat up here so you guys can see that we got the goals we got the bottom screen um, I want to find a better place to put the ad countdown for Twitch folks. Where's a good, like maybe on my face cam, maybe you guys can see that. I don't think it's too distracting. I think it's subtle enough. You can always crop it in post-production if I want to make a, want to make a video or something. But yeah, this is the squad we got right now. Five badges. I got the badges on layout too. I'm glad you like it. I was, I was trying to build this out the other day because I knew, um, I knew there was some conversation about chat on screen versus not on screen um, and like, el like not eligibility, legibility. So I wanted to kind of freshen it up a little bit without being too layouty, right? Um, so I'm glad you guys like it. I think you get you know, a little bit more information here. Uh, I, 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 I like it. I like it. Why is, what is that chat over there for? Where is that at? What? Why do I see two chats? Where is this coming in? Okay, hold on. There's that. What is that? That is. What is this? Hold on. There we go. Okay. I was wondering. I was like, I don't, I don't need this anymore. I don't know if I can get this out of there. Okay. There we go. I was freaking out for a minute. I was like, what are we doing? What are we doing? You guys like this little ad timer that I got? If only I could get ads to sync up between Twitch and YouTube, it would be a little bit more. Uh, be a little bit, uh, you know, be a little different, but, uh, give me just one second. I want to tweet out, uh, that I am 
switching gears to switching gears to sinking sapphire. Um, you know, it's crazy. So I met a lot of the, the hardcore Nuzlocking community at, at PAX. Um, got to meet like Flygon HG, uh, Wacko, Drax, bunch of these guys. And, um, I felt like such, like, I felt like such, uh, like a little boy Nuzlocker coming to these guys because like they crank out, like, I think Wacko just did, um, the new heart gold soul silver ROM hack sterling silver. I think it is. Uh, I'm like attempt 11. I'm like 31 attempts into this motherfucker. So I'm, 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 I was like, yeah, you know, you guys do a couple of these a year. I, uh, you know, I make sure that I get, uh, you know, my stuff. Oh, I got to change the, I got to change my vertical one. Give me one sec, Chad. I got to play, uh, I got to play, uh, da, 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 da. One sec. Um. What is this? Why is this? Let me let me move my bottom screen. Hold on. One sec. I'm just changing the. Uh, oh, and then let me just make my camera a little bit bigger. Yeah. Center you. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sorry, I had to get my vertical stuff all done. It's how we get the clips, Chad. It's how we get the clips. All right. Um. So pretty much, like I said, the only thing that we're going to be looking for. Um, the only thing that we're going to be doing really, uh, this stream for singing Sapphire is going over the, um, is getting our, our encounters that we have not yet gotten and kind of get a little game plan together for Thursday. Cause Thursday, we're going to end up doing the, um, Thursday, we're going to end up doing the weather Institute. So I don't want to, oh, I don't want to mess up with marks or anything like that. So this is the team that we just used to beat uh norman uh leftovers moxie gyarados bounce aqua Chill, crunch bulldoze leftovers majin buu charge beam soft boiled minimize hyper voice uh battle armor leftovers cell the armaldo aqua tail rock slide x is a cross poison uh magetta sturdy with leftovers curse smackdown iron tail bulldoze uh technician normal gem goten fake out power up punch double hit acrobatics uh and then lastly leftovers magic guard bulma cosmic power moonlight moonblast stored power um, so we are in Maville right now. We are going to move around a little bit. So I do believe who has, didn't, didn't I give somebody yawn? Yajirobe has yawn. Okay. So let's bring Yajirobe with us here just because he can yawn. Um, our level cap's at 44. I need to get my counter scripts going. Give me one second, chat. There we go. Um, so we're going to bring Yajirobe just because he's got Yawn. Um, probably bring our backbone of Blissey Steelix. Um, I don't want to be super water weak since we're doing a lot of like swimming around and stuff like that. So let's do Haze Shenron as well. That'll be eh, surfing around. Who do I want to learn? Who do I want to learn surf? That's a question. Let's swap Gyarados with Oracle. Keep Gyarados in the box just in case. We'll teach Oracle surf. Um, I need probably somebody to HM here. Rock Smash. Yeah, let's grab. Let's grab Hercule here. Probably teach Hercule strength as well. So we'll have surf, Rock Smash, strength. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Let me update the layout because I'm weird like that. Uh, Nuzlocke team, team number one, we have Vigoroth. Um, teammate two, Felicity. Uh, three, we got Felix. 
four Luminion. Five is Dragalgy. Six is Bufalon. Bufalon. There we go. All right, got the squad. Got the squad. Let's go. Probably. Uh, yeah, we got to do Surf. Surf and Strength. We need Cut. I don't know if we'll need Cut. If we need Cut, we'll teach to Bufalon. Rock Smash already got Strength. Let's teach that to Hercule as well. Probably Overhead Charge. Don't forget to grab the Steelix Sight and Granite Cave. Ooh, good shout. Good shout. Did I not get Surf? I probably just got Surf. There we go. Ooh, I could teach Surf to Haze Shenron. We can do that. We can do that. Let's use Surf over that. It's a beaut. Oh, and then we got a rare candy up. Um, we gotta we gotta keep Yajirobe from evolving. I do not want to slacking. I want to keep Yajirobe. Hi, Cosmic Candle Mother. Hi, I'm going to give you a shout out. You guys got to follow Kate. Oh my God, what's your little badge? You're so cute. What is that? Gold pixel heart? How do you get that? I don't even know how you get that. Guys, go follow Kate. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. She's going to be like, oh my God, stop. Don't do it. Don't ask me to do that. Don't do You don't have to do that for me. Do it. Chat, go follow her. She is the candle mother. She runs Cosmic Candles. Happy Tuesday, love. That probably offended somebody. That probably offended somebody. I apologize. I didn't, didn't. I didn't mean to take it that far, and I did. It's on me. It's on me. All right. Get everybody up to a reasonable level cap before we start hunting down our encounters here. We'll just get everybody up to forty. Sludge wave, please. Don't you have to do the Eon Duo thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll do the Eon Duo thing. Sludge Wave is 10% chance to poison. Sludge Bomb's 30% chance to poison. Um so, uh, no, let's do let's do Sludge Bomb. Let's do Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb. How's Pokemon's good? Good. We watched a lot of cool battles. Uh they're really fun. They're in a uh, playoff season right now, so it's a lot of really high stakes battling. Uh and now we're just trying to. Do some prep work. I'm not going to be live too much doing this tonight, um, but I think this could be the run that we beat our challenge run. Um, so I want to prep everything accordingly for that. But yeah, no Chrome Dome. We'll do the the, the Eon Duo thing. We'll get the Latias encounter. Um, hopefully good nature as we've, we, we've been very good with like a solid B, B plus natures. Um, but we have to do that. And then we have to get the encounter over there as well probably where we'll stop tonight if we um you know make it that far because 9 30 right now is the things we have to make sure that we keep hitting b4 when i don't have my everstone okay that is everything uh do i have super repels on deck i only have 13 okay let me go grab some more super repels here bear with me one minute By Max Repels. There we go. That'll be good. Because now we have to run around the, the whole forest and everything. Every every place we can just repel up. I'm going to toss one on right now. Just so I don't forget. Beautiful. All right. We don't get a Route 110 encounter, but what we do get is a... Um, oh, you know what I should have checked, too? Is Horde encounters. Let's do that before we head over there. Where's my Sing Sapphire docks? Area changes... New Mauville. Ooh. Ooh. I think I want to go get Ursa Ring. I think I want to go get Earth Ring just for the sweet scent. 
So horde encounters. I want it. I want Ursaring just for the sweet scent. I don't think we're gonna sweet scent New Maville because horde encounters in New Maville are either Clink and Tynamo. But we can get so many better encounters just in the 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 quote unquote grass in New Maville. So let's grab Ursaring here over over Dragalgy. Yeah. Aider still has that over Jagalji. Okay, let's do that. Let me update the layout here. All right. Let's go. Let's try this again. Yeah, Pikachu, Magneton, Muck, Electrode, Weezing, Electabuzz, Porygon, Rotom, Garbodor, Clang, and Electric. So really, I mean, there's handful of encounters I would not want to get here at New Marvel. I would love a very nice electric type right now. Fighting type left me up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Porygon. Let's go. Beautiful. Uh oh, special attack rose, too. All right, let's just try a quick little quick ball here and hope that works. Nope, that didn't work. Discharge. That's a plus one discharge. There's a crit. Uh, let's just go into Magetta here, I want to say. I don't want to risk another yawn and lose that. I know it's plus one, but like none of its attacks should be able to hurt me. Um, I'm just going to bulldoze. Yeah, beautiful. That tri tag's doing a lot at plus one, I'm going to be honest. Uh, let's just go on to Blissey here then. Discharge, signal beam, tri attack, blank. Yeah, even a plus one, you ain't doing nothing to me. You can just hyper voice a bit. <sighs> well. That did not pan out how I wanted it to. That did not pan out how I wanted it to, and I apologize for that. I really wanted a Porygon. But, 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 let's, let's, let's be honest. We still have, Porygon Z would have been cool. We still have a lot of good encounters. It wasn't the electric type that I wanted. It, it, it is what it is. What did you miss? Um, so a bulldoze from Steelix did not knock out the Porygon. It did under half. Uh, Hyper Voice from Blissey did over half. So it is, it is what it is at the end of the day. Like I said, we've got a lot of really good encounters. I'm not too worried about it. Um... Probably I'm trying to think. So yeah, so now we really want to bank on like a Manectric across the way from uh, once we surf across from Mauville. But we can still go get our surfing counters on all the routes down here, which will be fun. And I didn't clear out any of these trainers, so you know, you know how it goes. But thankfully, we're not at level cap, so we can just knock everything out with Yajirobe. It'll be great. All right. I'm sorry you left for two seconds to go give Eloise water, but I'm thankful you gave Eloise water, okay? You're a good dad. We'll just keep spamming that for a bit. Um, I'll take a look at horde encounters around the area and see, see what we've got. Windows security, go away. I'm not worried about you right now. The chip away in the Night Slash is really the only coverage that we need on, on Yajirobe. 
I don't know if we'll, like, legitimately use Yajirobe. We can try. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't know if we'll try it. Now, I could... A smarter man would come over here and clear out these trainers. It's just going to be a little extra grindy when we have to go back and forth and come back. Because otherwise we surf all the way around down by... Uh, we surf all the way down around by, uh, what's it called? Uh, my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom. That place, uh, Slateport, thank you. There's a city, thank you. My own brain for reminding me. So let me clear out these guys. We gotta fight the guy that has the, the five different cosplay Pikachus as well. We gotta fight that guy, so that'll be fun. Just more, more chip away spam. But the goal here is to make it back to Pedalburg first. I would love to get a very nice Meryl. I would love to get a nice, huge power Meryl. To evolve into an Azumarill, of course. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, and then Hyper Voice just should knock out both of them. Oh, yeah, or we can single target down now. Because if I can knock out a Porygon 2, apparently. All right, we got to keep an eye on Majin Buu. Majin Buu is level caps 44. We got to be mindful is the word there. Oh, never mind. We just went. All right. There we go. All right, Swayf across. Back around to Petalburg. It. Bob and dodge and weave, Bob and dodge and weave, Bob and dodge and weave, Bob and dodge and weave. There we go. All right. Already got our encounter over here. Bob and dodge and weave, Bob and dodge and weave. Shit. Early route trainers feel my wrath. Last town is about to get sent back to kindergarten. Whatever hell grade she's in. All right, chip it away. So is there, is there a need for a horde? Let me pull up the, where we, Petalburg, Petalburg City. Oh, we can't, I was thinking we could like sweet scent on the water. We cannot do that in Petalburg City. At least we can't in Petalburg City. Oh, there's some really nice encounters on the water. I hope that we can pull that off. All right. Surf is all I wanted. Well, what's over here, actually? Oh, Max Revive. Never mind. Can't use that. Can't sell it, though. All right. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Do not use another. Give me the Super Meryl, please. One Super Meryl. I'm not going to check any of the encounters, by the way, until we get them all. So we can we can just have a party over it. It's a Meryl. Who knew? I, I for one, am surprised and shocked and awed. 27. Wow. All right. I need an Azumarill nickname. Or, oh, you know what I'm going to name this? You know what I'm this? I'm going to name this Champa after Beerus' brother, the fat god of destruction, in hopes that this is adamant huge power. That's what I'm going to name this. I'm going to name it Champa in hopes that that is an adamant huge power. This is called manifesting, chat. It's called manifesting. Okay. We're going to try it. Route 104, we could have got some heat on. Horde Encounters, we could have gotten a... Um, Horde Encounters, we could have got a Totodile in, and I feel like that would have been really good. Okay. So we already got a Route 104 encounter. Route 105. We got a Route 105 encounter, too, in Staryu. Did I use a... Did I use a Repel? There we go. 
All right. Wait, actually, did we get a Route 105 encounter? No, I don't think we did. I think Route 106 is the... Let me pull up the town map here. Where's my, where's my, where's my map? I don't think we did this. Map. Okay, no, we did not. So Route 105, we actually do get an encounter on. Never mind. And we didn't forfeit it. Okay, so by Dex Nav, we can get a Loma Mola. Surfing, we can get Willet, Wingle, Tentacle, Frillish, or Pelipper. Fishing, Krabby, Star, or Corsola. I think I want to go for the surfing encounter up here. I'm glad we didn't get an encounter. Like, and like burn it. All right. Can I just get that one? Nope. All right. All right. Route 105 encounter. Show me. Show me Wingle. Kind of cool. Okay. Um, any, any, any squid, any squid like Dragon Ball, any squid like Dragon Ball names I'm trying to think of with like tentacles and stuff like that. Hmm. Hmm. They're a good tentacle a jellyfish. If I look up jellyfish Dragon Ball characters, maybe. Jellyfish Dragon Ball character. Uh no, there's none. That looks like a that looks like a uh, it's not even from Dragon Ball. I don't even know why that's coming up there. Hi Kate, welcome back. I hope you won your Warzone game. Little gamer are you. Cooler? I don't think we have cooler yet. I I can I can ride with cooler. I can ride with cooler. All right. So we got the Route 105 encounter. So let's put the repel back on. Okay, yeah. We got the Route 106. Route 106 is where we fished up the Staryu. We got that. We get the... Encounter over yonder. Got 10 do for town. There we go. All right. We already got the route 107 encounter. So we get one more route encounter, and then we also get C Mauville. So let's take a look at route 108. Let's see if there's anything that we want to consider there. Um, route 108, Mantike, Mantine. Mantine would be great. Uh, you can also get a chin shower, a lantern. Both of those would be cool. The only problem is, is that if I get a Mantike, I can't evolve it because I don't have a Remoraid. Steel Excite, right, right, right. We'll go back. We'll go back. So I think we fish because we already have a Finneon. That's species. We already have Luminion, so it would either be a Chincha or Corsola. I think we surf here. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, you must be like level cap. Oh shit, yeah you are. Okay, let's yawn. Okay. Level 40 Mantine, I guess that's how we get that's how we get Mantine is by uh That's how we get the Mantine encounter. Yeah, so you can get like you can get like wing uh no, Wingle, lol. You can get Lugia in Seamaville. You can get uh Spiritum in Seamaville. Spiritum got a huge buff. Um all right. Uh, you have a thick special defense. There's no way a charge beam knocks you out of level 40. There's no way. There's no way. There's zero way. I'm going to go for another one. I need some chip. Yeah, there's my special attack boost. Okay. Okay. So you're asleep, and I've got a little bit of damage. Can I go for a Great Ball here? Nope. Okay, Aqua Ring. Okay. Charge Beam was a... Charge Beam was four times super effective. Let's go for a Hyper Voice here. Takedown's gonna hurt. I'm gonna take a little recoil on you. Oh my... And a crit, Blissey. I hate you. I don't hate you. I love you. Let's see, he's like, quit getting all these thick Pokemon. You don't need them. 
Shit. Okay. That's on me. I didn't think that. Ah, the crit. The crit was bad. The crit was bad. Okay. We're not using Blissey anymore to wear down some of these Pokemon. Uh, okay. Well, as many encounters as I thought we were going to get, we are not getting them. Okay, so Seamawville outside. We can get Seal, Sfeel, Dugong, and Lapras. We can also get a Shelter or a Whalmer. Shelter would be Species if we want to play that, because we have a, or Dupe since we have one in the box. The Seal, Sfeel, Dugong, or Lapras are nice. But isn't there also... Uh, Pokemon changes there or set encounters. Yeah, Spirit Tomb. Yeah, yeah. So Lugia is level seventy and has multi scale if we wanted to, or that. So I think, I definitely think, uh, I think we're fine. I want to go for either the Lugia or the Spirit Tomb late game. We don't need to do that. We don't need to go for that. Unfortunately, printing the one encounter that we had over here. So that's how it is. Blissey sees the high speed F. Exactly. No, Blissey's like, listen, you can't replace me. That's just how it goes. You know, it is what it is. Can I go here first? I want to go there first just so I get the fly location once I get the TM and stuff for it. That'll be how it is. Razzy, what's going on, brother, man? How you doing? How you been? How's life? Yeah, too much momentum. Still the run, though. Still the run, 100%. 100% the run here. Um, We do get some encounters to the right if we want them, I believe. I believe we can go... We can surf a little bit off of... Off of this pier right here. Nope. This pier up here. Yeah, let's let's keep using that. Yep. We can serve over here. So route 134. Route 1. Okay, let's scroll down until There we go. Oh, chat. We can force we can force a Dratini encounter. So we can fish for for horse or Dratini. We have the dead Kingdra. So we can we can say that we can say that because it's species that we've got that. Had a kid. He's four months old. Hell yeah! My son turned fifteen months yeah, two days ago. Parenting's crazy, brother. I hope you're enjoying it. I love it. I love it. What up, Sturgeon? All right. A hundred percent cheesing the encounter. Or Dratini right here since we have the Dead King drug. What up, Haas? Uh, I've killed two encounters so far, but the good news is because we got a horsey elsewhere, we can spam uh, encounters until we get the Dratini here since we already got it. Oh, no, I can't do that. There we go. We just got to pull the... We just got to pull the Dratini is the big thing. That's all we got to do now. I'm just horrible at the fishing mechanics at 130% speed. There's Dratini. All right. So I need another. I need another dragon. I need this to have multi-scale is what I need this to have. That's what I need. Sauce, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Mabel is like an eight-year-old now. God, how old is he? How old is he? I just saw him. No, Lisa watched him when they came over. I'm trying to think. How old is he? Two, I want to say. Two and some change. Let's go into Yajirobe and go for a yawn. Let's go for that. That's how we're going to have to do. Hope all's well. Your family son's about to hit five months old. Yo, Surgeon, congratulations. We are, we are, uh, we're a bunch of old men dads out here. It's fantastic. I have no way to hurt this thing, by the way. I should have given something false swipe, but I'm a fool. Yeah, multi-scale. Yeah, right. 
All right, Premier Ball of Respect because I'm Iron Boffin. Premier Ball of Respect because I'm Iron Boffin. Premier Ball of Respect because I'm Iron Boffin. Oh, so close. All right, it's asleep now, so it should work. Please. Please. Beautiful. There we go. I like Porunga. I like that. That's a good one. Turn 29 this year. I don't feel old, but time sure flies fast. I was just telling, um, I was just telling some of the Nuzlockers, uh, I, I, I was making jokes that I was old all weekend. And one of the guys I was talking to was like, well, how old are you? I'm like, oh, you like 30? And I'm like, oh, you're cute. 31. He's like, oh, I'm 29. I'm like, enjoy it while it lasts because it doesn't get any easier. He's like, what do you mean enjoy it while it lasts? I'm like, it gets, it gets worse. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> like, sorry in advance. All right. Um, those are all the encounters that we can get right now prior to. So let's go check them out. What do we get? Three encounters? Three out of five? Oh. Oh, modest and huge power. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Like, it still hits hard. It still hits hard. It still hits hard. Like, I just, I just don't even, like, 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 my nature luck is... I got a tweet about this. My nature luck is awful. My nature luck is just dog shit sometimes. Oh, that's a tough one. Sing Sapphire has no way to manipulate the nature or the ability. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Turn 30 and play sports like I'm 18. Not my best idea. I, I try to I try to hang with the, the kids this weekend and uh, keep up with drinking. I actually I actually held my own. I actually held my own. B plus nature. So I think if this was like modest and like thick fat, I might be better. I think the modest huge power is a little salty. Uh, Jolly Tentacruel, not terrible. You get like Waterfall, Poison Jab, and stuff like this? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I got people to vouch for me. All right, Dratini. Marvel Skill! I don't even care. What is that? Plus attack, minus defense? Don't even care. Positive attack nature with Marvel Scale. Oh my god, I'm the fucking goat. I'm the fucking goat. I am. I am. I need a photo for Twitter. I am. I am the goat. I am the goat. That's incredible. Uh, uh, how do I? How do I? Uh, there you go. There we go. Oh, let me get a better picture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where's my... JK, I lied. Yeah, that's, that's hot. That's hot. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Um, when do any changes to evolution there? Dratini. Oh yeah, cool. Ability to Marvel scale. So it was a 50-50 shot and we won it. Thank God. Beautiful. Okay, no changes in evolution. So it's still going to evolve at like dog shit late. But. But. We're looking good. We're looking good. Okay. 
That unfortunately, I mean, fortunately for us, yes. Like, like God tier encounters, God tier encounter. Uh, yeah, God tier encounter at the end. Um, minus defense is fine. Like I said, with with Marvel scale, Marvel scale into multi scale is gonna be great. So that that's something else. So Dratini having Marvel scale means that our Dragonite will have multi scale. So let's just head on back up. And then we got to prep to go across the pond. Get our encounter over there. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to blow this guy backwards. No, yeah, no. Fucking encounters have been great. I I think that the I think knocking out the P2 and the Mantine, yeah, I think Blissey was just like, "Listen, I don't want uh I don't want you to get any other special defensive backbones. That's me." That's me. The Steelix site. The Steelix site. All right. The Steelix site. We're heading back. We're heading back right now because I'm dumb. Because I don't even get to use Fly until after the sixth gym. So, but I can get at least the Mega Ring before the sixth gym. So that'll be good. All right, let's run back, run back, run back, run back, run back. Let's just, let's put uh, somebody else up front. Let's put Oracle Fish up front. There we go. Oh, a Minnesota accent. You want a Minnesota accent, don't you know? A little Canadian tossed in there, but it's pretty still up north there. Actually, it's probably a little bit more nasally, isn't it? Minnesota. You gotta get the long O. Oh, Minnesota. What's up, Jake, sir? How you doing? Gyarados is also coming closer. True. Very true. We're looking good. Hi, Hanny. All right, we can start the stream now that Hanny's here, guys. We're gonna restart. All right. We just bob and dodge and weave, 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 bob and dodge and weave. Yeah, we can probably get some heat in Granite Cave too, right? I'd have to imagine. Mini sodas. What's up, Brady? How you doing, brother? Uh, Swana. Um, I actually don't think that I can do anything to you, do I? It's got a Hercule here. One flight left and the move is over? God, I feel like you just fly all the time. Just all the time, just non-stop. Low-key love traveling myself, so. Oh, of course you drop my attack by two stages. The strength's gonna like barely tick. Oh, it's a two hit KO, okay. Never mind, it's a four hit KO. Cause you're gonna probably feather dance me again. Oh no, three hit KO, never mind. All right, I'm minus six, hooray. Rocking up, oh boy, okay. Um, let's swap into Aider here. Driving last, oh my God, yeah, no, no. I have uh, over the last two, uh, over the last two trips that I've done in the last month, I have reminded myself that I do enjoy traveling, uh, which is not a good thing, because I, uh, I like traveling. I do not like being away from my family. I don't know if I would like traveling with my family though, at least until Link is older. That's that's kind of where I where I stand on that one. Oh my god. Aider doesn't even need to burn right now for the guts. Incredible. Just so thick. Ugh. Oh, 
and you killed yourself with the recoil? Come on, get out of here. Good family trip. We're trying to we're trying to coordinate uh, an East Coast trip over the summer, but we've gotta we've gotta make sure our finances is in a row for that right now. Ugh. Cause that's the biggest thing is obviously like we're traveling with a toddler. Normally, like I would take up people's like offers to like crash at their place. Like 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 for example, like Liz's mom would let us stay at her place. That is not a place to bring a a a toddler around. So, um, just thinking out loud. Okay, my repel wore off. Where's my max repels that I got? There we go. There we go. Apartment building has a suite you can rent for a hundred dollars a night. That's crazy. Can you move closer to New York? All right, there's the escape rope. Okay, I'm not teaching anybody Flash, but Flash does not seem to be a necessity now. It's really just... All right. Let's explore up here first. Up here into down here. Ooh. Is down here. Probably the best you'll get. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, there's the mega stone up there. Okay, I see. Ah, shit. What am I leading with? Oracle. Oh, right. Oracle fish. Oracle fish will be fine against these guys. Oh, yeah. Level 20. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, Danielle. How you doing? I hope we were talking about it. I hope everybody enjoys the new layout with everything. I had like a fever dream where I was like, this should be good. And turns out so far it has been. I got to trim the chat a little bit. It looks like it's carrying over onto the screen. Nate, what's going on, brother? How are you? How you been, man? I don't even know if you're big dog anymore. You just a little dog now these days? Incredible. There's Steelix Eye. Beautiful. Everstone. <gasps> Everstone to give to Vigoroth. Oh my god. And Shadow Claw? That's crazy. Grueling Gold? Oh, that's awesome. Um, the creator was just in our in our stream the other day. Fun fact. Bug? Bugford? Oh my god. Everstone on the Vigoroth is top tier now. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll just clean out. I'll just clean house, see if there's any other items down here that we can get. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Is the is the ad timer too small for Twitch viewers, or is that like a fair a fair size? Working on being little dog lift numbers crazy though. Yes, sir. I have been uh, I've been well just working a lot, man. It's like I've been I said to everybody all weekend, day job, day job, dad job, night job, in that order. So, just keep it, keeping up where I can with everything. Uh, really do want to get into... Oh, that reminds me. That reminds me. Uh, where's uh, Nexus? Um, Nexus. Um, Nexus. Nexus. Told me to tell you I don't have an editor. There we go. Yeah, Nexus at the bar was like, tell me you don't have an editor. I'll go get you one. I'm like, okay. Let's do it then. Let's run it. Uh, what did you miss so far if it's not too long to recap? So without going into specifics, um, it is, uh, we did a quick recap of going to PAX this weekend. Super fun, had a, had an absolute blast. Um, let me get off my bike here so I can make this like little turn. Um, watch the, and pa PAX is awesome. I'll, I'll talk about PAX till I'm blue in the face. I had such a great time. Um, uh, Pokemon Premier League semi quarterfinals were watched. Uh, those were some games. Let me tell you. Oh my God, it was a. Those were some games. I was very happy that we got to watch those. Um, what else? What else? Um, so far in this, we've gone around and gotten a few encounters. 
in this area. Um, we're trying to get pretty much all of our encounters before we get to, before we have to surf across to go to like the Weather Institute and stuff. So unfortunately I knocked out two of our encounters, but we did get a positive attack nature Dratini um, that will, uh, escape rope, um, that will end up getting multi-scale as a Dragonite. So uh, really, 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 really good. Twist your arm and ask for all the Jonathan Young stories. You know, listen, it wasn't it wasn't that crazy. So, um, or like not like we we, we, did, we didn't spend a lot of time together. So, um, we tried to link up Friday when I got in. Um, I had a, like a a bunch of plans Friday. Um, I invited him out to like dinner with Boff and I, and he was like he was he was busy. He was beat from the con. He was with some friends. So, um, that uh, so Friday we just kind of DM back and forth, figured stuff out. Saturday ended up being at the con. Um, he was with, I think he introduced me to his partner. Um, they were really nice. And then I think they were with, they were with one more. I didn't get the introduction there. Uh, we just got to hang out, uh, take a quick handshake. It was nice to see him. You know, he's telling me about his time at the convention. Introduced him to Boff. He got a quick, uh, he got a quick, uh, um, he got a quick, uh, this is my buddy Ian, by the way. Hey, good to meet you. And they got a handshake. Um, and Boff was like, that was the best. Yo, my name is Ian. Like I've ever had in my life. Um, so so he got that one um but yeah we took a quick picture they were they were in line at a booth i wasn't trying to like over impose myself on their you know there's a line there right like we are we are we are you know uh I don't want to get bold and say friends we're we're acquaintances we're on good terms certainly enough to like dm each other and try to coordinate plans and whatnot um but i i, I didn't want to you know stand in the line to do something like if someone just doesn't like walk away it can kind of feel like you're cornered so i didn't want to like be weird like that first time meeting somebody so um but it, it was it was really cool he's a very very genuine guy um can tell you respect john since you got him named bob i absolutely did um but i so here's here's the funny part here's the funny part here's the funny part so um when i when i when i dm'd him I, we were trying to meet up on saturday and i was like hey it was like you know we we're on the con like if you want to hang out because i got there a few hours earlier we went out for lunch plans got back from lunch and was like Hey, like I'm, I'm, I'm here. Where are you guys? Um, he's like, oh, like we're down here at this booth. I was with Boff. I was with Envy, and Envy had two friends with him as well. So it was like a squad. And I was walking over to, um, I was walking over to go to to go to go meet him. And I looked at everybody, and I was like, guys, I promise you, I love networking. I love connecting people. I am not doing that right now. Like. I, I am not going to sit here like the one person that I want to meet this weekend. I'm not going to be like, by the way, here's my fucking gaggle of people. One of which I just met the other guy. I don't even know the other guy's name with us. I'm like, so I'm going to meet up with you guys later. Like grab Boff and we went. So I, I, I felt bad, but like MV understood. MV was like, no man, like this is what you wanted to do. And you came here. Like, please don't let us like do anything. So I was really, I was really happy that there wasn't like an awkward scenario there. Um, but it was funny because I literally was like, told everybody to kind of like fuck off while I go like do my own thing Joey what's up brother how are you so it was it was a really good time we got a picture and like I said I didn't want to uh, I'm not trying to be the the weird fan guy you know so um it was a uh it was it was it was, it was a really good time PAX was awesome PAX is very awesome spent a lot of time some good people met a lot of met a lot of new faces there's only one person I want to talk to and none of you are no 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 exactly it was it was it was like a it was like a, uh, what just happened? Did like, I not get an alert pop up? Oh, Joey. <laughs> I literally, why did the alert show up? What happened? Oh my God. That's so fucking funny. Joey, you did not have to give 10 members. Thank you so much. Why did that not come through? Oh my God. Okay. So just so you guys can see what I see, I don't want you to guys, Joey's probably going to DM me like motherfucker. If you guys just caught, uh, uh, if you guys just caught one of those gifted members from Joe, you better say thank you. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. This is all I can see right here. So here's my here's my combined chat dashboard. Right here's this. It doesn't show me the pop ups in chat like the like the YouTube chat does. If I pop this chat out and just use the YouTube, it'll show me. Right, it'll say Joey up here, gifted ten members. But the one that I, and for some reason, like, I don't know if the alert's just going to be delayed or not. 
but I feel like an asshole. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joey. I really appreciate that. That's fucking hysterical. That is hysterical. I'm in tears right now. Oh my God. What is that screenshot on the left? Click it for us. These ones? These ones? I forgot I still have my, my thing over here. Haha. <laughs> These are just screenshots that I posted on Twitter. Screenshot. 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 There's those screenshots. There you go. I'll dance for you. A little ten little ten subs. I'll dance for you. Click on those screenshots. That's funny. That's funny. Appreciate it, brother. Hope you're well. We had a good we had a good laugh over lunch talking about how Joey Pokemon would not be caught uh not be caught dead at a PAX. That was a, that was a good conversation that we that we had had. One of these years, my husband and I are gonna make. So so listen. So packs lo, So so next year's packs is is a little is a little. Um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, oh, let's go get the expert belt while we're down here. Just just because. Um, oh, it's the table, isn't it? Yep. Um, the uh, ever. Yeah, Joey will never be at a packs ever. You'll never catch him there. Um, but so next year's packs is actually warmer. So in the five packs that I've gone to four or five packs I've gone to, they've always been in really cold weather and it's just not like super fun because of that. Um, however, uh, next year's packs is going to be in May. So we have to hope for a little bit warmer weather. Um, the only bad part is that that also takes place over mother's day weekend. And I don't know if uh, Liz really wants to, uh, you know, spend Mother's Day in Boston, right? Um, especially like it is a work trip. I would, you know, if we did all go, I would have I would have Link with us. I would always be a parent first. I would never like bring my son out with me and not be a parent. Like I will always be a parent first around there. But there will be some scenarios where like if there's a party I'm going out to, like my wife and son would not go to that. So. Um, it, it's more conversation for us to have on the back end, but all that to say, Danielle, I think next year's, uh, I think next year's packs is probably going to be a really ideal scenario. I think a lot of like content creators are going to be very excited to go because it is like the first time in recent history that it's been really nice weather. So you might have a better opportunity of like just meeting more people being around. Alternatively, there's also TwitchCon, you know, uh, a lot of people always like going to TwitchCon. It's usually in the fall. Uh, so it's not too cold, uh, not too not too hot. Usually someplace really nice to like tourist around and stuff. I I, I don't like touristing in Boston. Um, I don't. I don't. Uh, I think Boston's so chaotic. I I don't. You know the restaurants. I like Ubering around and doing stuff. That's always fun. Um, you know we went to a lot of really cool places because I wasn't driving or walking around. Um, but I definitely do not like. I definitely do not like the idea of just walking around Boston. That's not, not my town, not my town. Um, but like, like, uh, like if it's in Vegas again or something, right? I, I'd fuck up Vegas. Like I have done so before. I will do it again. Um, I am, I am, I am one and zero against Vegas. I will go two and zero. Um, but that is, uh, uh, that that would be the other opportunity. I don't know if they've actually confirmed a location or anything like that for for TwitchCon or something like that. Um, but all that to say, all that to say uh, about that Yu-Gi-Oh card. I think either are good opportunities. I think either maybe TwitchCon this year if it's a um, if you really want a fun time. Uh, whenever the fuck they announce the packs, uh, not the packs, packs worlds, Pokemon worlds, that would be great. That would be great. That's Hawaii. Um, that's another one where like, I would love to travel to I chat. I really need to be like 150,000 subs for me to continuously barter with my wife, like travel opportunities, like as a business expense, um, like this packs was good. I went for two days, went all on the business card. We're good. Everything's fine. Um, but like, I don't think I could 48 hour Hawaii. I don't think I could 48 hour Hawaii, especially with like being like a 12 hour flight. Um, 12 hour flight I'd probably have to fly first just because I'm a big dude who like enjoys traveling comfortably not as a sardine so okay anyway a lot of rambling we got the steel excite we got the everstone we got uh the expert belts we need to where is ah, 
remember the the name of this route. Let me pull this up. Worlds in Hawaii would be disgustingly expensive. So I talked about that. So we had um, so Hanny, we had lunch with Moxie Boosted Marcos, um, VGC player. For those who don't know, um, the uh, what is this route one eighteen? That's where I need to take a look at. Um, trainers. Yes, yeah, Southern Island. That's that's what we've got. Okay, okay. Yeah, Meat Arena, Luminion, Viper, Gold, like Barbarical Blast, Toys Level. That's where we're going. Uh, Moxie does not have his invoid. I believe he said he's like a hair, a hair under like 100 points away, but he's going to like EUIC right to Orlando and then like a few other mid-season showdowns. So I'm, I'm pretty confident. Yeah, he plays like a, he plays like a maniac. Um, okay, let's take a look here really quickly what we need. So we need we need a mod that can go for surf, right? We need a mod that can go for surf. Um I feel like right now that's Oracle just to get us across. Um we need but anyway, yeah, and and AIC. Anyways, what was I what was I just saying? Oh, we were talking about how like at this point, the closer we get, it's almost like another point of the competition of like how close can you get before how close can you get before the actual dates announced, can you still afford it and stuff, right? Love to visit Peg at some point, but I mean, I'd have to plan for two or three weeks vacation across the Atlantic for just a weekend. Sounds like a bad time. No, I mean, plenty of people. Who who did I see at PAX? Fucking Pokemon Challenges was at PAX? Fucker flew in from across the pond for a weekend? That, I was floored by that, Chad. I had to apologize to him. I ran into him at the, at the bar the last night I was there. And I was like, there's no way you're here. And I felt like like it was the first time I ever met him, so I felt like that was a uh, like a little off putting for me to be a little like you know excited. Um, but but like I said at the beginning of stream, I did have probably a whole do bottle of Don Julio that night, so excuse my actions. Um, but I did go up to him later. I was like, hey, I was like, you know, I apologize. I came off strong. I I was talking about you earlier. I was just really excited to see you here. I had no idea you were coming. And he was like, no, he's like, no apologies. You're all good. Like we're all good there. So that was that was a really. That was a really exciting encounter for me to 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 just uh you know get to hang out with Jan there. But speaking of cross speaking of international travel, I don't know how long he was in town, but I was like, oh my god, you just flew in for the weekend, didn't you? Um, okay, anyways, back to back to this. So we've got Neat Arena, Luminion, no grass types, not a fucking grass type on my side of the field to handle any of this, right? Okay, so we need Luminion on the squad. Solely to solely to hang, right? Solely to hang and do stuff. Well, that's actually a hard one. I think it's hard on paper. Um Nidorina Luminion Viper. We know we battle with Steven. He's got the Metagross. He's got the Metagross, which will help. Um, what's my rock resist? Okay, so I think, so I think we bring Majin Buu for the Blastoise. Blastoise can only hit us with Aura Sphere. It does not have Shell Smash. It does not have Mega for Mega Launcher to give it more. Aura Sphere will tickle, but we can still take it. Um, I think we have to bring Harold. Harold! I think we have to bring Harold for the Barbarical. I don't have much that takes on Barbarical. Razor Shell, Stone Edge, Low Kick, X Scissor. Who's your best cut Pokemon? Aider. Aider, but Aider's slow and Aider's gonna take a super effective low kick from Barbarical. That's a thing. Um The Grunt has Nidorina Luminion Viper. Those, ah, those stone edges are going to tickle, man. Um, Could be a good opportunity. We could bring Clefable. Could bring Clefable. I like that. The the Cosmic Power, Stored Power, Moonline, Moonblast is just busted. Um, Especially setting up in front of Golduck and Need Arena to an extent. I don't think I hate it. Um... Hmm. 
Ricky. Ah, Gyarados just going to take that Earthquake. Counter Wobbuffet. The thing is, though, is that the Barbarical has Zack Scissor. That's the thing. I think it's Dragalgy. Dragalgy resists the Razor Shell, the Low Kick, and the X Scissor. I don't know what we turn around in Oko with, so we're going to try to get everybody up to level 44 and just see. Hopefully, hopefully we just blow it backwards with, with Swamper with Earthquake. Um, and I don't want to get Everstone mixed up with, uh, I don't want to get Everstone mixed up with, we, we could bring Vigoroth. I don't think we die to a low kick. So I think we could bring Vigoroth with cut. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All the DBZ names. Thank you, brother. This, we ran this, uh, we started this run right after, um, uh, the news about, uh, Akira Toriyama, unfortunately broke. Well, the, like the, the first stream after. Hello? Hello. OBS? Here we go. Sorry if I just like that was weird. I've never seen uh OBS do that. 